All right, Seattle, we are back. And it's time for us to take this dynasty into the year eight playoffs, baby. Round one up against Connor McJesus and the Edmonton Oilers. Coming off our, I mean, our best team ever. We've had multiple 60 win seasons, but uh, for the first time in the history of the NHL, a team that hits 63 wins, baby. I mean, we are showering ourselves in greatness. All right, think about this. This. Think about this. Think about this. This team is in its eighth year ever in the league. Three trips to the conference finals. Six straight President's Trophies. Two Stanley Cups. Uh, uh, four 60-win seasons. The best team ever with 63 and also the team with the greatest goal scorer ever. Alexander Ovechkin scoring his thousandth career goal over the course of this year. I mean, we are showering ourselves, like I said, in greatness everywhere you go. Uh, and if we can win it this year, back-to-back, -back, three and four years, even the haters that say two Stanley Cups isn't a dynasty, surely will have to change their mind about the Seattle Stallions, all right? This team is the team of death. Destiny, ladies and gentlemen, and there still is one thing that we haven't done. We haven't won that Stanley Cup on home ice. Now, I'm asking for a lot, uh, but still, there is still something to go for, all right? And this is a young team. The sky is the limit. I want to continue to win, leading all the way up until NHL 21. So here we are, round one, up against the Edmonton Oilers. And speaking of those Oilers, let us see what that team is all about. Now, this is year freaking eight, right? So is Connor McDavid in the last year of his contract? 96 overall, 30 years of age, all right? He just signed a seven-year extension with the Edmonton Oilers. Man, good old Canadian boy. He just continues to plug away. He wants to win at least one Stanley Cup. What the hell, Connor? So the guy actually takes a pay cut as well. He was getting paid $12.5 million on his old contract and then takes a pay cut to stay in Edmonton. <laughs> No Dreisaitl, right? Leon Dreisaitl went to Ottawa in free agency a couple of years ago, so that's going to help us out. But he still has Tyler Benson and Kyler Yamamoto on the first line. Very good first line. Filthy first line. Connor McJ uh, McJesus turns it up. Uh, Andreas Janssen, the former Stallion, alongside a Quinton Byfield, who went second overall yesterday in the real draft. He was a, let's see, seventh overall pick in... Year number two in this universe, so he moved up. Good job, buddy. Michael McLeod, the two-way. We were almost trading for that guy, so the second line's pretty good. Third line, Dayton Heinen, uh, Nikita Suglobov, and Zach Shenishin. This is where it starts to get weak, and our third line is filthy this year. Best it's ever been. Van Ryan, uh, 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 Carlson, and even though I think uh, Steven Stamkos is a step back from Tara Vinen in overall, I still, it's a really good third line center, so I'm fine with that. Uh, uh, Devin Shore, William Bitten, and Sam Bennett on the fourth line for Edmonton. Uh, defensively, they have Julius Honka, Evan Bouchard, so offensive defenseman, and I know Julius Honka is like an offensive two-way defenseman. Uh, uh, Gabriel Carlson and Shane Grume Morris, and Broberg and Damore. Their blue line looking weak. Uh, we have a much better blue line. Jake Bean, Volchenkov, Gerard, Carlo, they blow these guys away, and we picked up... Uh, 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 an 86 overall two-way defenseman whose name I keep forgetting. We'll get to that in a second. Power play should be good for them, but I don't know if they're going to be able to keep the puck out of the net. Robin Lehner, and they don't even have a goaltender. Robin Lehner has dropped to a 79 overall with a 78 overall Simeon Varlamov as the backup. So they can score, but remember, we've built this team to be able to produce come playoff time, so I'm not convinced that they can keep the puck out of the net. And if it is a goal-scoring type of series, i got to give the nod to us. Alexei Lafreniere, Anderson, Kubalik. You can trust this line to go point per game, essentially, and be plus in the playoffs. Ovi is the, the big question mark on that second line. We know he scores. We're going to keep him there, and we're going to have the same plan as we did last year. Uh, the regular season lines, unless we are trailing in a series or unless we are facing elimination, then I will be going and making line changes, all right? I can always move Steven Stamkos up instead of Ovi, move Carlson into the middle. There's lots that we can do, but I still feel like with an 87 Pressburg and an 87 Nylander, they'll pull Ovechkin up, and he can still score. So the top six is set. Third line's never looked better than it does right now. 
now. Stammer, he's a little bit less than Tara Vinen, but Carlson and Van Ryan are much better this year than they were last year. So that's a filthy third line. And then, of course, Wagner, the playoff performer last year in the playoffs. We're going to start with Vic Wesley, uh, but if he starts to falter off or if we're in trouble, we're going to go with Adam Lowry, all right, because we picked him up for the playoff run. Uh, defensively, again, Jake Bean, the best defenseman in the universe alongside of Artem Bolchenkov, Gerard, and Carlo. And here he is, Vacheslav Vorobayev. I picked him up in the last video at the trade deadline from the New Jersey Devils, a former second second overall pick uh this guy really hasn't had a great career up until this point he wasn't going to re-sign with them um and he's a two-way defender who plays defense so that's what we need essentially i look at him as this year's noah hannafin this year's john carlson the two-way defender that's way up there in overall that can kill penalties and just log good ice time in 20 games played for us he was a plus five with four points all right but uh if you look at the advanced analytics body checker all right takes the puck away we just needed a guy like this essentially Alrighty, so other than that, I think we are good. Check injury. Some people are saying to put Ovi on the wing for the power play. You want Ovi up on the wing so he gets more goals? All right, I'll put Alexander Ovechkin up there. Stamkos can go on the point. Both of them have great clap bombs, so that's fine by me. And check injuries, Johnny. All right, we will go and quickly take a look at the injury report. Uh, fortunately for us, we have a clean bill of health. However, the Edmonton Oilers... See what they got? Oscar Clefbaum has got a lacerated arm. He is returning June 24th. Jesus, how deep is that laceration? The guy almost lost his arm, apparently. He's not coming back till June 24th. What, do you get a knife fight in freaking in, in, in Stockholm or something? What are you doing, Clefbaum? Or maybe he just got a skate to the arm or some shit. Yikes, that's a scary one. That is a scary one. All right, Nuge. Yeah, Nuge is gone, boys. The Ryan Nuge and Hopkins is gone. This is year eight, right? Everything's going to be different. So, uh, there's one more thing I wanted to check. I'm pretty sure Jan Bednar is the starting goalie. Uh, automated goalie rotations is on, but I just want to make sure. Yes, Jan Bednar. And, uh, oh, you know what? We should do it just in case we get a first-round exit. Um, you know, like a sweep and we don't go to overtime. You never know. It's possible. The Twitch scouts had a great idea with Jan Bednar, right? He made himself known last year as our goaltender. So, uh, we went in and we... What the hell? Oh. We went in and we edited his, uh, his pads... Alright, and we gave him the D-Generation X look, baby. If we have to go into overtime, the black alternates with those black pads are going to look nice, but there you go. He's got the X on the pads, and then he's got the armor on the blocker. Ready to go. <laughs> Power 1X pads, yeah, we'll look at that in the, uh, in the future, ladies and gentlemen. For right now, let us start up the Year 8 NHL playoffs with your Seattle Stallions. So we're up against Connor McDavid. You can make the argument that McDavid's due. He's due at least one for one Stanley Cup, one con smite, right? I'm hoping that it's not this year. Oh, and Andreas Janssen's going to score 15 seconds into the game. What the hell? So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I will bring back the Twitch scouts, and game one in Thundershock is underway. Now, um, back to the routine that we've been going on the last three years. We want to see how the shot totals. Shot totals are the good indicator on how well your team is performing and if uh, if you need to make some changes or if not. Now, the first goal of the game is 15 seconds in, but since that point, we've outshot them 12-7. to 7. So, so far, so good. I'm liking this game. We just need some offense. And I said that I don't think that their team can keep the puck out of the net. I'm hoping that that's true, man. Hey, come on, they got a 79 overall goaltender. This is the real-time simulation. I'm telling you, the worse the goalie is, the better he performs. It's so ridiculous. Ah! Tyler Benson's going to score for the Edmonton Oilers, giving the Oils a 2-0 lead. And that's a big one. All right, first goal for the Seattle Stallions in the playoffs. We are out shooting them 26-19. All right, Dominic Kubelik on that first line, getting us back within one. All right, we just got to open it up here in the third period. I'm already thinking about the line changes I want to implement. Here we go. Third period underway. Shot totals are in our favor. There it is. Ludwig Carlson, the third line. Maybe Steven Stamkos hooked him up right there. Power play for Edmonton. Four on three. Holy shit. And Elliot Van Ryan, the third line. I'm telling you, I think we can rely on our third line in this playoff run. Elliot Van Ryan and Ludwig Carlson. Maybe Steven Stammer to his uh, third line. I'm telling you, man. That's why I needed that third line center. That's why I got Tara Vinen last year. That's why I was telling you guys we need to replace Tara Vinen. We can't just go with some bum. Third line center is so important and Steven Stamkos brings that line together. Beautiful game. Out shooting them, out scoring them. Bednar. Bednar in the final 59 minutes and 45 seconds only allowed one goal. You know, he had a, he had a good game. 
So hang on a second. Seattle stats. Let's see what uh, Stammer did. Stammer. All right, we had one of these. Good job, Elliot Van Ryan, man. Van Ryan's going to want it big time. But Van Ryan and Carlson, sniper and power forward, who both max out that third line. If I could somehow sign those guys long term, or maybe not even long term, just keep them on the team for the next three years, just to just to bolster, you know, behind Pressburg, Nylander, behind Lafreniere and Anderson, Kubelik. I mean, it's so it's so deep. All right, so no line changes are necessary. Let us get to game number two. In Seattle, ladies and gentlemen. I like the way we're simulating so far. Let's see if we can keep it going here. Game two in Seattle. Jan Bednar did not allow the first goal of the game nice and quickly. And Matthias Pressburg is going to open up on the second line power play position. So the fans were saying to switch around Alexander Ovechkin and Stammer. Uh, Ovi dropped from like 51 goals down to 30. Might have been because I put him on the point in the power play. Because he is capable of getting a shit ton. And Ludwig Carlson, another big time goal late in the period by a power forward. First off, it was Dominic Kubelik in the last game. This time, it is Ludwig Carlson. Yeah, there's no way they can keep the puck out of the net. If, if they can score, fine. But with a 79 overall goaltender and a weak defensive core, there's just no way. You're going to see games like this. Matthias Pressburg, Alexei Lafreniere with a two-goal second period. Yes, flex, boys. Let's flex a little bit. There's no need to get excited. We've been here. We've done that. This is the routine. It's round number one. And uh, the good news is that every time we get past the first round, we go at least to the conference final. And with the Lafreniere team, every time we've gotten past the first round, we go and win the Stanley Cup. Power play late. Oh, yeah, this game's over. Good job, Jan Bednar. They're actually catching up to us in the shot totals, but the damage has already been done. Grumay Morris is going to get one late just to hurt uh, Bednar's stats, but I don't care. The offense was there for us. Two, one, bang. That's a 2 nothing series lead for your Seattle Stallions, ladies and gentlemen. People are saying Oilers in six. Yeah, I wouldn't put it past them. But it seems like for Connor McDavid to really play, you need to put like a sniper alongside of him. You know, he needs he needs some line mates. He needs an offensive defenseman. He needs, he needs some chemistry or something. Benson and Yamamoto just ain't getting it done. And I, I think we faced them in year five when we won our first Stanley Cup. And we swept them in four games, didn't we? We beat, and they had Leon Dreisaitl with McDavid on the power play in that series. So the Edmonton Oilers, they just, they, they, they've been shirelli these these past eight seasons. <laughs> and I can't believe Connor McDavid actually decided to re-sign with them. That is the definition of insanity. What is going to change, Connor? Nothing, my man. At least you made the playoffs, I guess. Another ball buster goal. The third game in a row. And at some point, whether it's the second or first period, the Seattle Stallions are scoring that late goal. The third line from Elliot Van Ryan. Shot totals are even, but Seattle is just scoring those timely goals right now. Sweep their goofy asses. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's just play well. Play strong. Play for Bednar. And here's a game where we, I mean, anytime we can get a goalie win game, that's huge. Because I know our team can score. We're going to score more often than not. But you might have these few games where they just play well. The coincidence simulation goes against us. But there it is. Lias Anderson gets the second. And we still might, we got the third by the end of regulation. See what I mean? Our team is on autopilot. Keeping the puck out of the net, even though it comes late, we're always capable of just exploding for two goals. Just like that. Bang! You know what I mean? Bang! Just like that. And the third line continues to get it done. Jan Bednar, that might be his first career. No, that's his second career playoff shutout. I know he had one last season. Good job, Jan Bednar. And we are dominating right now, ladies and gentlemen. All right, this is what I like to see. This is how I like to feel it in, in the playoffs. All right, we just dominate, just running through teams. Just like in the regular season, now just running through them in the playoffs. All right, so boys, no no, no time for anything. Let's, let's not waste any time. Let's not stop to look at any stats. Let's just get to game number four and see if we can sweep out the Oilers on their home ice. Look at the shot totals. Oh, we're dominating in this game. It was an early power play. Oh, but Broberg is going to open up the goal scoring on uh, Jan Bednar. I think the shot totals actually were only in our favor because of the power play. They caught us up big time. All right, so one nothing Edmonton after one. Here we go. A little bit of a, a pushback by the Oilers. I'd love to just get this series over and done with. Five on three power play. Goes nowhere. Jesus, we're on the PP for like seven minutes there. And you guys couldn't convert? All right, relax. They're up 3-0 in the series. Don't get on them. At some point, you have to understand you're coaching a good team. You know, you got to pick your battles. <sighs> I'm not going not gonna to grind them into the ground. Leave that up for the leaders on the ice. That's up to Laffy Taffy, Pressburg, and Jake Bean to get the guys going. It's not up to the coach all the time. These guys have already delivered 3-0. Are they going to get shut out this game? I still feel like we can score at any time. The shot totals are heavily in our favor. 
But is the 35-year-old Robin Lehner at 79 overall, he's still got one more performance in him. One more performance in him for Robin Lehner, ladies and gentlemen. Two, one. Ah, oh, and Robin Lehner, yes, he does. He has one more playoff shutout in him before he'd probably retire after this year. 35 years of age at less than 80 overall. Uh, unless, I mean, <laughs> Ovi came back. But there you go, all right? Robin Lehner delivers, and they get a goaltender win. All right, so our offense didn't show up there, but it took four games for our offense not to show up. Uh, I'm fine with that, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, reverse sweep. No, I, I highly doubt we lose four games in a row. But then again, it is EA Voodoo, NHL. First shot, first goal for the Edmonton Oilers. Oh, no. Don't do this, man. I'll make line changes right away, too. I feel like we're good, but I'll, I'll throw Adam Lowry in if we lose this game. Absolutely, man. We can't, we can't be complacent. I have to make changes. Power play goes nowhere for the Seattle Stallions. I'm getting worried now. I'm starting to get worried. End of the first period. They are up by one. So that's four periods in a row now we haven't scored a goal. All right, come on, Robin Lehner. There it is. And leave it to Alexander Ovechkin, ladies and gentlemen. The great eight with over a 1,000 goals in his NHL career. And that's just regular season goals. We're not even taking into account the playoff goals that he scored. We should do that. We should add up the playoff goals with the regular season goals to see what his true totals are. But Alexander Ovechkin continu continuing to get it done. And how old is he? 42? <laughs> it's great. 1-1 one, one tie. Come on, boys. Let's get this series over and done with. I don't want to have to go to game six in Edmonton. All right. Get this series over and done with right now. There it is. Dominic Kubelik scoring late or early in the third period. Andreas Janssen, though, says, no, no, this series isn't over and done with just yet. Tying it up at twos. Power play. For Edmonton, halfway through the period, goes nowhere. Good job, Jan Bednar and the penalty killers. Seven minutes left. Oh, no. I don't want to have to do it. Not early. Ah! I would have taken it, though. Not the loss. Julius Honka gives his team a 3-2 lead. And the Edmonton Oilers have crawled back into this series. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right. Seattle stats. What's, what's happening? What's happening? Minus ones? If it's just minus ones, yeah, it's just minus ones. Although, they got a goal, so it was minus two. Oh, it was a power play goal, so it was minus one. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So we're making line changes. Lowry's going in there. Wagner hasn't done anything for us yet so far, boys. We have two more chances. Reverse sweep on a dynasty. Oh, my God. Woo! That's going to be rough if that happens. All right, so Vic Wesley, you're going to get your ass out of there for Adam Lowry. All right, third line's killing it. What about the second line? Second line is not killing it. So Ovi, I think, is hurting that second line. First line, they're doing fine. So... Yeah, we got to shake this up. Ovi and Van Ryan. Ovi and Van... No, no, you know what? Leave Van Ryan and Carlson there. Let's go Stammer right there. All right. I'll even throw Lowry in there. Wagner can play the fourth line center position because he's a power forward. And Ovi can go back with Spiller. Because Ovi, he is 78 overall during the uh, the real-time sim. So let's let's move him down the lineup, all right? Lowry, you're going to move up. Stammer, you're going to play on the wing. Who's got better face-offs? Stammer's at 82. Pressburg's at 85. Nice. Uh, Lowry. Uh, yeah, that's good. All right. Don't worry about it. We're not going for chemistry anymore. And Vorobayev. Yeah, we're moving you up in the lineup, buddy. Get your ass up there with Gerard. all right? Vorobayev. He is moving on up. Uh, okay, those are the only changes we're going to make for right now. Goaltenders. Oh, and I got Lowry in, right? So I might as well use him on the penalty kill. Right, right, right. Hang on. Wagner taking you off here. We're going to throw Lowry in on the, the penalty kill. There it is. And Lowry. Why would you change your first line or your best line? Because even though it's the best line, the second line is struggling. And the second line will get more ice time than the third. Matthias Pressburg's playing 20 minutes a night. Van Ryan's playing 14 minutes a night, right? We need to get the second line going. We have to. And I still feel like the third line will be fun. Like Van Ryan and Carlson will bring Lowry up. We have to get that second line going. All right, now I have two chances. But Stammer's moving up with Pressburg and uh, Nylander. All right, now I need the I need the offensive game. I need the I need the game where we score four or five. It's as simple as that. All right, even in the games that they beat us, they beat us with goaltending games. We need the four or five goal game. It's as simple as that. So here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Steven Stamkos is leading our team in points. So I'm moving them on up in the lineup. Game six, it's starting to get uh, worrisome now. Power play to start the game for the Oilers. What the hell are we doing, you fools? Uh, at least we kill it off, though. Oh, no. <laughs> it's not happening. This is not happening. Reverse sweep. on uh, What the fuck? 
fuck, shorthanded goal. Oh, everything's going against us. Everything's going against us, dude. What am I supposed to do? Oh, no, no, no. I was getting so happy. <laughs> it was just going to be an easy series. And now they got to fucking come back like this. Okay, okay, relax, 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 relax. Take it easy. All right. Whew, second period. Underway. 18 minutes left. Come on, we just need one. I don't know how we are not scoring any goals all of a sudden, but it is really starting to piss me off. Scoring goals in the first three games, and we have just gone silent in the last three. We're going to go another two periods without scoring? What kind of combination... What kind of team comp do they have that they're keeping the puck out of the net? 79 overall, uh, freaking uh, Robin Lehner. Oh, this is starting to really piss me off, man. Oh, my God. This was supposed to be an easy series, and now I'm about to be forced into a game. If they reverse sweep me, I'll be, that's the end of the dynasty. That can't happen. Third period underway. Come on. Somebody step the hell up and make something happen. Some... Oh, Connor McDavid gives his team a 3-0 lead for now. Okay. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. For some reason, the Edmonton Oilers have just found their mojo. And the Seattle Stallions are getting EA voodoo to oblivion. How? I do not know. We just got swept again. I mean, we just got shut out again. How do we get shut out? 79 overall fucking goalie. Unbelievable, man. 63 win team. I'm telling you, it's 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 got to be like a glitch. First round or cup. First round or cup. I mean, it's fucking game seven. How has this happened? The best to this fucking voodoo simulation, man. 4-2 victory. 5-2 victory. 3-0 victory. 2-0 loss. 3-2 loss. I've been shut out two of the last three games. A 63-win team has been shut out two of the last three games with a 79 overall goaltender. Not a single defenseman above 85 overall. Their bottom six is full of plugs. How in the fuck is this happening? Unbelievable. All right. All right. Well, you know what? I got nothing to lose. I lost three. I don't know if we lost three in a row all season. All right. Here we go. Best offense in the league. All right. Lafreniere. Uh, you're, you've done nothing. So, you know what, Stammer? Let's go, bud. You know what? No, I know what I'm doing. Uh, Lowry, you were minus two. So, I'm going to reunite that third line because the third line was doing well. All right? Ovi, you played like shit. I got to take you off, my man. All right? Wesley. Uh, no, 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 no. Hang on, hang on, hang on. It was Lowry, Lowry, Lowry. So, I, whoa, 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 whoa. Wagner, I'm scratching you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Scratching you for Lowry. All right? I need Lowry in there. Lowry, Spiller, and Wagner. Carlson, Stammer, Van Ryan. Nylander, Pressburg. Why is Lowry in there twice? Who is not who's not dressed? Is it Ovi? Yeah, cool. So I gotta get Ovi back in there. Let me just get Ovi in there for right now. Alright, so Ovi's back in there. The lines are good. Who's scratch players? We got three scratch players. Alright. So let me get Stammer. I'm gonna leave Stammer on the third line. I gotta get Pressburg going up here with uh, uh Nylander or Anderson. Yeah, let's go Anderson. There you go. Alright, Pressburg, Anderson, and Lafreniere. now. I'm going with the top guns, alright? Uh, we're going to go Nylander down the middle with got Kubelik and Ovi. Oh, you know what? I thought you fucked this. I don't care about the chemistry. Van Ryan, Carlson, and Stamkos. You guys are moving up. All right, Kubelik, Nylander, and Ovi down to the third line. And that, you know what, Trenton Spiller, you're moving up for Ovi also, buddy. There you go. You're getting the chance. All right, Kubelik, Nylander, and Trenton Spiller. Uh, Wagner, Lowry, and Alexander Ovechkin back there on the fourth line, all right? Defensively, Bean, Volchenkov, Vorobayev, Gerrard. Uh, I'm going to switch those guys back again, all right? Because Vorobayev, we're going to need more time down here. And the defenseman, I'm going to throw him on the penalty kill. He's getting pl plenty of ice time. But Carlo's an even player. Vorobayev is a, it's a plus. You know what? Move him up. Move him up. Fuck it. Move him up. Uh, power play lines. All right, so let's get uh, Stammer on the first line power play. All right, Anderson, you're not getting it done. Nylander, Jake Bean, Kubelik. Let me get uh, maybe Ovi on the power play. There you go. Let me put Ovi on the power play. All right, with Jake Bean, Nylander, and Stamkos. Uh, Pressburg, Carlson, Kubelik, Anderson. Anderson, you can be up here instead of Carlson. Gerard, yeah, that works for me. I'm just trying to load up this first. Just trying to load up this first line, all right? And then Jan Bednar. He's, this is, this is, this is, I, I've never had this happen before. Playoff stats. That's what I have for my goalie in the playoffs. And I'm, I, I, what? I have a good goaltender stats and I'm not scoring? How does this happen? 
All right, here we go. Here we go. The first defensive pairing is a minus, really? They minus? Minus three. Well, whatever. I got to rely on them. If they're minus three, so be it. They're minus three, so be it, ladies and gentlemen. Although, did I move Jake Bean down to the second line when he won the Con Smythe last year? I think I did, but no, you know what? No, no, I got to trust them. We won the first three games with them. I'm trusting it. So here it is, ladies and gentlemen. We have got to trust the uh, the young the young guys up. Is there any other changes I need to make? Oh my God! I just it's like it's like I just need something to help spark this comeback right here. We fall in our. You know what? I have the perfect remedy for this shit. Coach's Corner brought to you by Salty Seattle fans about to watch game number seven. What the hell are you stupid stallions doing? You're playing like a bunch of Americans. Get out there and follow the great Steven Stamkos, the great Alexei Lafreniere, true Canadians, and you will bring home the Stanley Cup for a third time. Yeah, baby. Let's go. All right. All right, all right. Don Cherry's helping us out, boys. He just gave us the, the, the voodoo that we need. Follow the Canadians. Follow the Canadians. Follow the Canadians. They will lead you to greatness. Oh, that could also mean Connor McJesus. Oh, my God. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It is game seven. Strap yourselves in. Can the dynasty continue, or will we be reversed sweeped? Oh! Here we go. Don Cherry. Don Cherry. The good luck charm. Don Cherry. We're not going to lose four in a row. We're not going to lose four in a row. Controller's down. Tis in the hands of the gods. Power play! Goes nowhere, you stupid plugs. Power play for Edmonton. Good job, penalty killers and Bednar. All right, 10 minutes. Power play again. Come on, power play. Volchenkov. How's Volchenkov on the power play? It must have just ended. The Wolf. He claps one from the point, baby. The Wolf is Canadian at heart. Yeah, baby. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, all right, all right. Good news. We're out shooting them 15 to 7, although there was a lot of power plays in there, so I wouldn't get ahead of myself. All right, the, the more important stat is that it's one to nothing for us. We need to continue to score. One and one is great, but I need two. I need four. I need five. I need six, man. You need to score in this game, boys. Second period underway. Andreas Janssen, you prick, you snake, coming back to bite us. But Jake Bean, the greatest player in the NHL, scores. Conn Smythe, Hart, Norris Trophy, Ted Lindsay, fucking Dayton Heinen gets his Oilers back and ties it up. We're 2-2 halfway through Game 7. What a wild series this has been. Oh, and Steven Stamkos! Yes, follow the Canadian and he will lead you to greatness. All right, so we have a one goal advantage going here into the third period. Will it be another first round exit for Seattle or will they get by this dreaded first fuck? round third period underway ladies and gentlemen oh Zachary Shenishin a power play what the fuck you idiots doing power play for Seattle goes nowhere oh my god 10 minutes left both teams are tied who's got the the hero shot on his stick Ludwig Carlson third line yes five minutes left hold on Jan Bednar hold on young man hold on yeah <laughs> And your Seattle Stallions have held on to win game seven. Clutch! Clutch Ludwig Carlson. Clutch, my man. Outshot them 39 to 24. Robin freaking Laner, you jackass. How hard do you gotta make things? Woo! Yeah, baby. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What a crazy game that was. All right, but we won it and we are off to round number two. Seattle stats. All right, I gotta, I gotta calm her down. I gotta calm her down. Jake Bean, three points. Good job. Van Ryan. You know what? Should I just leave the second line, the third line of the second now? Yeah, I'm thinking. What about uh, Ovi? Ovi might have dropped a step. I think I should replace Ovi. I don't know, man. I don't know. I got, I'll leave him for the next series, but we got to track him on the fourth line. If the fourth line's dropping, we might have to drop... Uh, oh. So what do I do with the lines now? Do I leave them the exact same? Presper, I mean, they didn't do anything. What do I do with the lines? <laughs> Back to normal lines? What do I do? Don't touch shit, man. Oh, I, I don't even know. Ludwig Carlson. Okay, so a wild first round, but we got by the Edmonton Oilers. They almost reverse sweeped us. I would have been so pissed, but uh, we're through. We're through to the second round, and I was listening to the Twitch scouts. They've decided that uh, we should go back to the original lines that got us the 3-0 series lead. 
Um, but if we need to make changes, if we fall down one nothing, we know that we can mix and match. Go Pressburg on the first. We can move the third line up to the second line. Nylander down to the third. He's essentially this year's uh, Terra Vine. There's a lot, lots of things that we can do, all right? The important thing is that we are off to round number two, ladies and gentlemen. And in that second round, we have... The L.A. Kings, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, very, very interesting. So, let's see. Do you want, I mean, year eight Kings, who the hell would they have at this point? They must have some drafted players or some free agents that they picked up because they would have had all that cap space in the first three years. Ah, uh, there it is. Lucas Raymond. So he was drafted in the uh, he was drafted in the Lafreniere draft, fourth overall. He's become a pretty good player, 89 overall, playing alongside of Klim Kostin and Cal Yarncroft. Yarny baby, uh, Yarny. He was a, he was a member of Seattle, right? Yeah, first year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we drafted him in the expansion draft. He played a whole season with us. Holy shit, he had a pretty good season. And then I oh yeah, then I sent him down to the AHL. <laughs> And then I traded him to uh, Nashville. I remember that. All right, so Cal Yarncroft, the revenge tour. At 35 years of age. He's 84. It's still pretty good. Uh, Clem Costin, Lucas Raymond, Joshua Hosang, uh, Michael Granlin, Jake Vertanen. All right, so they, again, I, I, although Edmonton did have, uh, what was his name? Um, Quinn Byfield and Connor McDavid. They, they don't have the stud, but they do have some good depth. Uh, good depth for the third line. And then good day. Yeah, they got good depth on this team. Brooke Dur. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. All right. I'm not I'm not impressed with their defensive core at all. If we can't score on these guys, what the fuck? Then I'm not even going to build my, my, my team for defense in the future. I'm just going to go with like 90 overall players on each forward line. Because screw defense, man. We should be able to score on these guys. Come on, game. Come on, game. They don't have a superstar. They don't have a blue line. They don't have a goaltender. Come on, game, all right? I'm not saying that we should sweep them, but we should be averaging three or four goals a game. I shouldn't be seeing that nonsense that we saw in the last series against the uh, Edmonton Oilers. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Game one, up against LA. First time we've ever faced the Kings in the playoffs in franchise history. So Seattle versus LA. Nice color combination right here. Two of the best jerseys in the NHL. We're not allowed to wear our D-Generation -de -de X jerseys, though, on the road because they got those black home jerseys. Damn. They got us. They got us pegged. And look at this. See, I don't like this. Look at the shot totals after one. 12 shots to seven in favor of the LA Kings. For some reason, we don't have a good team comp this year. We're not getting that team comp, that simulation, you know? Uh, two power plays, but there it is. Jake Bean's going to score on Grubauer. I got to find a different combination. It might be... My, we might need Svechnikov for that second line. Might need a better sniper for that second line. Although I don't want to break up Van Ryan, Carlson, and Stamkos, right? As uh, Lucas Raymond's going to score on Jan Badnar to tie the game up at one. And look at it. We have to make some line changes after this game. I don't like it. I do not like it. All right. Even if we win this. 24 shots to 18 for LA and it's only 1-1 one, one tie. It's because Ovi sucks now. He was like 80 overall last year. He didn't drop too much, did he? There it is, Steven Stamkos on the third line. Third line we can trust. Ah, oh, Keel Thomas, though. Their depth. Five on three, what are we doing? Taking penalties. Look at the shot totals. What is going on? Ten minutes left. We got to steal this game. A goaltender game. Come on, boys. Seven minutes left. Six minutes left. Four minutes left. It's all tied up at twos. We're real... Holy, wait a minute, Trenton Spiller, fourth line out there with 36 seconds left, <laughs> oh my goodness gracious, alright ladies and gentlemen, it's time, so here we are, game one in Thundershock, 3-3 tie, going overtime, up against these tough LA Kings, the stats are all over the place, why does Jan Bednar have a white helmet on, I told him to have a black helmet on, this fucking game, Oh my god, no wonder he's getting scored on. He doesn't have the true D-Generation X colors. <laughs> it's not Bednar? Really? Why is fucking... Oh, why is our backup in the net? Oh, it's doing the weird thing again, boys. Jake Bean, over to Lafreniere. Over to Dominic Kubelik. Kubelik into the middle. Anderson! Oh, good shot. And the Wolf was friggin' attacking. Oh yeah, I gotta remember. Alright, full four check. Yeah, and close support. Bang! Take the shot. Rebound! Goes nowhere. Lafreniere, though, picks it up. Centers it. Anderson! This game, oh my God! You couldn't, you couldn't pray for a better opportunity. Two thousand IQ play, maybe, maybe, maybe it's the next shot that's gonna go in. Raymond with the shot. It is Ben. Are you fools? 
<laughs> All right, so let me get Pressburg out there to take the face off. I don't new game, new glitch. Yeah, 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 literally, new game, new glitch. I put a goalie, I put a goalie mask on, custom goalie mask, and it's it's the wrong color. All right, fine. Carlo, what a turnover that was. Jesus. Pressburg picks it up to Gerard. Over to William Nylander. He's had a few big time overtime goals for us. Ovechkin, Nylander, Nylander takes the shot, and Grubauer has to make that save. All right, this is Ovi's chance. All right, Ovi, you want to make, uh, you want to turn people's opinions around, uh, around about you. Here's the big time win by Pressburg. Back to the lefty, one timer to Ovi. That's the call I'm making. Come on, Presty. <laughs> Presty loses the face off. Never mind. <laughs> the LA Kings gonna break it up. Here comes Vertanen on the left side, holding up. Looking for an open king. Finds Brook at the point. Slap shot. Hits Bednar in front. The Kings, though, retrieve the loose puck. Blast it home. And take a 1-0 series lead. We're in trouble. We got to make line changes. I do not like the way we're playing against these LA Kings. Let's go. Okay, so here we are. Game number one in overtime goes to the LA Kings. Um, I feel like Alexander Ovechkin might be hurting our simulation. Something is not clicking right now. We know we know the game is full of voodoo. We've got to find the right combination. I just don't think it's working. So the first line is fine. I think Ovi's hurting our second line chances. So what I'm going to do, what I am going to do is we're going to try... Yeah, I like that idea of Pressburg, Anderson, and uh, and uh, Lafreniere. Because even if chemistry is involved, you still get the plus three. And we're going to really start to play Presti. That frees up Nylander for the third line. Because I really like the idea of Van Ryan, Stamkos, and Carlson for the second. I just... They're killing it. We got to trust these guys. We got to get them more ice time, all right? Nylander controls the third line with Kubelik and Spiller. All right, we're going to move Spiller up, and Ovi comes off for Lowry. All right, Lowry, I mean, uh, Ovi is, I think, that low overall is just hurting us, and something in the game is, like, telling the simulation that because of that 78 overall player, they're worse than they actually should be. I need to change that up. Lowry's going to be taking the face-offs. All right, Vic Wesley, the right-handed shot. I'm going to put Wagner on the right, the left-handed shot. Wesley's the right-handed shot on the left side. All right, so I'm going to, I'm gonna, we're going to trust our new second line here. We're going to move Pressburg up. Um, Jake Bean, they're still minus two. Volchenkov minus three. Now nah, I gotta trust these two. They're, they're not the problem. It's I think it's Ovi. Carlo, I'm gonna move Vorobayev up instead of uh, thing as well. Gerard, offensive defenseman. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Vorobayev, you're gonna move up instead of Carlo. All right. Special teams, power play. Uh, Anderson, Lafreniere. I'm gonna leave that the same way. I'm gonna leave that the same. Penalty kill, Van Ryan, Carlo, Volchenko. We're keeping the puck out of the net. Wag no, that was fine. But now that I have, yeah, I can take Lowry, oh, Wagner off. I can put Lowry back in now that Lowry's scratched or dressed. Sorry. Three-man penalty kill, Lowry. Take Lowry off the second line power play. Was he on there? Sorry, I'll change that. Lowry, Pressburg, Stamco. So who's not in Ovi, right, because I took Ovi off. Okay. So if I take Ovi off then, I'm going to move, fuck the plus five. All right, Stammer, you're going up to the first line power play now. All right, with Anderson, Lafreniere, uh, even Pressburg I'm throwing in there. All right, Pressburg, yeah, Bean and Nylander. Yeah, I'm going with our top guys. Anderson can come down to the second because he can take face-offs with Kubelik, Gerard, Carlson. Let's get Van Ryan in there. All right. What handedness is Van Ryan? Lefty, let's throw him on the left side then. Carlson is a lefty. Put him back there. Kubelik, yep, that works out for me. Four-man power play. Anderson, Lafreniere, Lowry, Bean, Stamkos. Let's move Stamkos up. Uh, Jake Bean. Let me put on Volchenkov on the four-man power play just in case that 93 overall can do something. Anderson, Gerard. Yep, that works. And then the penalty kill. Pressburg, Van Ryan, Volchenkov. Yep. Okay. Okay. But Bednar, 919. He's still doing fine. That game was, we'll just call it a wash, but I don't like, I don't like the way our team is simulating in these playoffs. The first three games against Edmonton were great, and then all of a sudden we have hit a, uh, a, a snag. Move Laffy to the second line? No, no, Laffy's our guy. I don't care what you guys say, he's a selkie playmaker. I feel like it's just the team comp right now. Whatever statistical variance is not, or it's holding us back or not helping us, it's, there's something, there's something weird happening to have a team like the LA Kings outshoot us by that much, all right, so I'm making the changes, so here we go, ladies and gentlemen, with the new, uh, with the new switches, Pressburg and, uh, and is it Anderson or Pressburg and Stammer up on the first line, what was it again, hang on, 
Anderson, right, Stammer, third line's on the second, and then Nylander and Kubelik with Spiller on the third. All right, got it. Got it, and Vorobayev is up with Samuel Gerrard. So if we lose this game convincingly, I am, am in a lot of, I'm in a lot of trouble. All right, so here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Game two in Thundershock. Power play early goes nowhere. So the new power play did not score on their first op uh, opportunity. But Ludwig Carlson, the second line now. Remember, the old third line, Trenton Spiller, the old fourth line chipping in on the third line. There you go. That's what I like to see. We need that goal scoring, man. There is no excuse for I don't. Shot totals are all well and good. If I can control the shot totals, that's going to be good for defense, but th this is more like it. There is no reason why we can't just explode for offense, all right? We've seen it in the past. I know I can do it. We just got it. Yeah, Trenton Spiller now to the third line. All right, Spiller, you've just, uh, you just increased your value in my book. I was looking at that $2 million contract of yours. Not liking it. This guy's showing up here. Wagner, all right, so I figured out the depth here. Oh, I figured out the depth. The, yeah, Ovi was holding us back. Oh, I figured it out. I figured it out, ladies and gentlemen. I figured it out. Wagner with another two. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What the hell is going on? How are they back within four? Shots are even. The goaltenders are just not playing in this game. Might as well pull your goalie and just go with the sixth skater. You're not getting any saves anyways. All right, all right, all right. So we're up by four. Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Come on now, Jan Bednar. If we could chip in for another one, that'd be nice. Make it five. Although I do, oh, down by three. Drew Doughty, 79 overall. Fucking Drew Doughty. Down by three. Don't do this to me, game. Power play for LA. Okay. Eight minutes left. Good. Alexei Lafreniere. Everyone's saying a trade him. He gets a, or move him down in the lineup. No, no, no. Steven Stamkos is going to score. Did we get a 10 spot again? Last year, we got one 10 spot. No 10 spot. Nine goals for. That's what we needed. All right. The explosion. Our team has been suffering the last four games against Edmonton. That first game against LA. It makes some line changes and bang all right just like that all right good uh stats and plus oh i should have looked at the stats of that game you're right i should have done that i should have done that my bad i just assumed that everyone played well so it, the, the stats are more important in games that you lose right because in games that you win you just might have gotten a good simulation games that you lose you might be able to pinpoint which line is not performing oh look at this start to the game four shots to nothing and they they open up the goal scoring come on what are we doing eight shots to one what a, pff, another power play for la Oh, this is a great start to the game. Do we even want to play through the first 12 minutes? 2-0, 12 shots to 1? Oh, Jesus Christ, man. How is this happening? My defense is 99 overall. They don't have a star on their team. What is going on? I have no clue. How do we go from a game where we simulate to scoring 9 goals to getting outshot 14-4 to in the first period of the next game? You figured it out, all right. I, I thought I did. Figured it out for one game. And then the EA Voodoo just decided to rear its ugly head again. I just don't get it. How does that happen? I can understand the power play, sure. But Jesus, where's where's our offense gone all of a sudden? They don't have a goaltender. They don't have a defensive core. And they don't have any superstars. Ugh, this is so frustrating to look at. All right, so I got to think about more line changes. Oh, we're going to have to make some more line changes after this. I might want to move Vorobayev up. If, if Jake Bean and uh, Volchenkov aren't getting it done, I want might want to move Vorobayev up with... Uh, with Volchenkov. Ludwig Carlson gets one late. It's still a game here. All right, Steven Stamkos. Remember, we can explode for offense. Come on, boys. We, this is a huge game. Power play uh, pl Power play for uh, LA. They don't score. Five minutes left. Four minutes left. Come on, Seattle. Get one more. No, and we take another freaking penalty. Holy shit with these penalties, man. What the hell happened this game? <sighs> penalties. So minor, minor, two to me, one to them. Three to me, two to them. Five to me, two to them. That's great. Thank you very much. All right. Trade Laffy for a seventh. Uh, Seattle stats. Let's see who did what. I don't know what's going on, man. Minus, oh, Lafreniere. First line is getting shredded, dude. How? Volchenkov is a minus one. Vorobayev is a minus one. What is going on, man? How am I getting outplayed by this? Let me look at their team again. Do they have any injuries that came back or something? A few lines. Bean and Vorobayev might not be where I know. I'm trying to figure it out. They worked last year, but there's something wrong with our simulation right now for sure. Like how? They 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 have depth, I guess. Power four playmakers. They got power forwards. Their forward core is good, but. What the fuck? How is this keeping the puck out of the net? They have 80 overall for defensive core. 
Give me a break, man. Give me a break. All right. All right. Out of lines. All right. All right. What do I do? What do I do? Pressburg minus six. Fuck, man. I can't get going. Minus two. I can't get going with these guys. Stammer. You know what? Fuck it. You guys, you, you fucking played the way I want my first line to play. Let's go. All right. You guys are moving on up. Uh, Lafreniere. Uh, the third line did well. The, the bottom six did well that game. So, like, they've scored some goals. So, I'm going to leave that the way it is. Pressburg, Anderson. You know what? There you go. Spiller, Pressburg, Nylander, Anderson, Kubelik, Lafreniere, second line. All right. Lowry, Wagner, and Wesley. Stamkos is dropping. Whatever, man. I got to try it out. And I'm going to go with what worked out last year. We went with Carlson with Volchenkov when we needed it to. I'm going to go the two-way defender alongside of the defensive defenseman. Jake Bean is going to use that offensive ability alongside of Brendan Carlo. I'm going to throw Gerard down to the third. All right. Uh, special teams. Power play. Stammer, Pressburg, Lafreniere. Let me go. Let me take you off. Let me go you there. Anderson, Pressburg, Kubelik. Take you out there. Kubalik, Stammer, Bean, Lafreniere, Nylander, Pressburg, Van Ryan, Carlson, Gerard. All right. I mean, I got offense everywhere now, okay? I got offense everywhere. If you guys can't get it done. So we'll keep an eye on the first line, see how the, 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 the former third line, see how they play on the uh, the first line right here. But I, I just can't. I can't fucking do it, man. All right. So we're only down by one, though. So the series is far from over. We're making changes after every game, it seems. The one game that we won was nine to four, although we did allow four goals. Right. So here we go. Game four difference between a two, two series tie and a three, one series deficit. Nate Schmidt scoring. Nice. Oh, my God. One shot, one goal. Jake for ten. And hey, oh, pfft, here we go, man. It is just, you know what? The L.A. Kings just might have that team comp that works. My good God almighty. Jake Vertanen with a, a natural hat trick in the playoffs. Yeah, right, man. How in God's name is this happening? Pfft, I can't find anything. I can't find the team comp, ladies and gentlemen. That first game in overtime that we lost, it was uh, that was the difference maker. Because we could have won game two and we lose the two on the road. We win a 2-2 series tie. That first game in overtime... Oh, we got to win this game, man. Ludwig Carlson, Drew Doughty. I mean, 80 overall defensemen. Elliot Van Ryan, though. All right, so the first line is chipping in. The Stammer, Van Ryan, and Carlson line is good. They're getting it done. That's about it, though. LA Kings again. We just can't heave the puck out of the net. Bednar's playing like his overall states. and that, But yet their teams are not playing like shit. So we're out shooting them 26 to 19. They've had a lot of power plays, but they're scoring on us 4 to 3. I mean, fuck, man. Here we go. Third period underway. There it is. That's all tied up. Matthias Pressburg on the third line now all of a sudden. He's going to score. Power play for Seattle. Goes nowhere. Come on, boys. I don't want another overtime. Ten minutes left. Eight minutes left. Come on. Oh, my God. Thomas Tatar takes the lead for L.A. with five minutes left. Is that going to be all she wrote, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, Jesus. And the Seattle Stallions cannot keep the puck out of the net. It's as simple as that. All right. I don't know what it is. I don't know what the team comp is, ladies and gentlemen. But uh, this is just, uh, it's just not working. All right. Vorobaya minus three. Lowry minus two. Wesley minus Volchenkov. Be my best players are my worst players. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't know how to handle this uh, LA King squad in the simulation, boys. We are just getting, like, we had one game where we dominate, and then the other three games, it's like they're just a better squad. I don't know what to do. All right, so if we're going to go out, we're going to go out with a bang. Yep, we're just going to go out. All right, so I'm just going to trust the lines that got us the Stanley Cup. Lafreniere, Kubelik. All right, I know I should probably move these guys up, but I got to get the best players playing. It's just we're letting in too many goals. All right, Carlson, you're going to move down. Stamkos, Van Ryan, Wagner, you're going to go back to the left side. Wesley, uh, you're going to be replaced by Spiller. Uh, where are you, Spiller? You're on the left side. Hang on a second. Spiller. All right, there you go. Spiller with uh, Lowry. Uh, Lowry, you're coming off. You haven't done anything for What's Lowry's plus minus been in the play? My, in the fuck all for me. So I'm just going to go back with Wesley. Why not? Uh, Vic Wesley, at least this lineup got us the uh, game one overtime. And Trenton Spiller. Uh, I'm gonna. Whoa, I got too many players. Who's the one? I, uh, fuck. Lowry. There he is. Lowry. Changing current line. And then get Lowry for Ovi. All right. We're not. Ovi, if Ovi's going out, he's going out. All right. 
Ovi, let's go, my man. We're going out with you. We're going out with you. Um, now, Vorobayev is a minus two. Volchenkov is a minus three. I, pfft, I'm going to trust my top two guys. All right, I'm going to trust the... I'm going to just trust them. Whatever. If we lose, we're going to lose with our big guns. I'm not going to try to pull some craziness. We're just going to go out swinging. All right. And uh, I'm also going to go different power play because we're not scoring goals. Uh, I'm going to change this up. I'm going to put all the best players in the first line. Uh, Anderson... Uh, Stammer, Stammer's all right, right there. Bean, uh, Kubelik, no, I'm going Volchenkov. That's right. I'm throwing a 93 overall on the on the power play. That's right. I don't give two shits. All right, you're gonna load up that big bomb, my man. Lafreniere, Anderson, and Stammer. Yep, that works for me. We're gonna go Pressburg, Van Ryan, uh, Carlson, Nylander. Yep, that works for me with Samuel Gerard. Yep, uh, four man power play, and then the penalty kill. Pressburg, Van Ryan, Carlson, Ovechkin. Nope. We're going to go with just the best player, Anderson. All right. I'm just going to go with my top guys here. Van Ryan, uh, Carlson, Carlo, Volchenkov. I'm going to throw Vorobayev up on the first line penalty kill. Carlo can play with Schmidt. Uh, Vorobayev, uh, Ovechkin, Pressburg. Let's throw in Anderson. I'm just throwing my best sniper. I don't give a shit. Uh, extra attackers. Extra attacker, Lafreniere and Pressburg. Let's throw those two guys around. All right. Uh, Lafreniere, Stammer, goaltenders. Jan Bednar, man. Playing like a uh, shitty goalie now, but oh well. All right. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. We are going out on uh, the team that got us the Stanley Cup. If we lose, we lose. All right. At least we got past the first round. But the LA Kings are a team poised to do some damage here in the playoffs, it looks like. Bednar is a one-hit wonder. Well, we got him signed to a backup number, so it's all good. And based on the regular season, he may jump. But we know this with goalies. I don't think it's I don't think it's Jan Bednar. I think it's the team makeup and the simulation engine is telling the game that the LA Kings are the superior team for some reason. So they're getting like a bonus in the sim. That's all it is. It feels like, all right? Because I feel like the LA Kings, except for that one game, they have been on top of us this entire time. So here it is. Three chances. Are we going to get eliminated on front of our home ice fans? I don't even care. Oh, there it is. Lucas Raymond. See what I mean? The LA Kings are just a better team. They're just simulating better than we are. There's nothing that I can do to shut them down, man. And they just they just come out and they start scoring. And we can't we can't score. They they got a shitty defensive core. I got 93 overall defensive defensemen. Their best defenseman is like 80 overall. <laughs> it's a fucking joke. And I can't score and they can, man. I'm telling you, it's so scripted. It feels so scripted. Give me a reason why we're losing, and I'll, I'll understand it. But we are getting dominated. It doesn't make any sense. Lafreniere scoring for the Seattle Stallions to get them back within two. Alexander Ovechkin. If it's his last game, he's going to score a goal. But it's always the same problem when we lose in the playoffs. It is the goals against. It just becomes insurmountable. And it's not even by teams that are great offensive, uh, that have great offensive production. It's just teams that have weird combinations. Depth, I feel like it's a killer. But like Akil Thomas, Thomas Tatar scoring. I mean, they no studs. Look what Connor McDavid did to us in the last series. Absolutely nothing. And now look what the LA Kings are doing to us. So we're down by one. Good luck. Laffy Taffy, you gotta lead the squad. Third period. Are we going to lose? Petius Pressburg. He ties up the game for the Seattle Stallions. There's life still. Elliot Van Ryan. Oh, he takes the lead for the Stallions. There's life still in these bucks. Come on, boys. Oh, and Nate Schmitz. Is that enough to extend the season? Wait a minute. Josh Hosein gets them back within one. See what I mean? We just cannot. Our, our defense is rated 99 overall. <laughs> And we're winning games seven to five. It's un it's incredible, man. And there it is. All right. So at least we give our fans one more victory on the year. Last year you had a better goalie coach. Oh, is that it? Not the goalie coach? Yeah, sure. Seattle stats. Let's see who did this. Same lines. Oh yeah, I'm leaving the lines the way they are. We got pluses everywhere. Only my only some minuses there. So I think they got a bunch of power play goals, which is awesome. Uh, but yeah, I'm not making any changes. OB score. If we go out, we go out. All right. Elliot Van Ryan, the third line's doing great. We just need, we need our top guns to just wake up. I mean, seven goals that game is great, but look, like, I don't know how this team is scoring and keeping the puck out of the net against us. You take a look at the last uh, five games, right? 
Overtime loss, so 3-3 by the end of regulation. I can understand that. 9-4 for us. Again, 3 by the end of regulation for them. 4 by the end of regulation for them. 4 by the end of regulation for them. 5 by the end of regulation for them. 5 by the end of regulation for them. They haven't had one game in 5 where they've scored less than 3 by the end of regulation. And we're a 63-win team. Best defensive team in the NHL. Best offensive team in the NHL. And yet the LA Kings just come in and start scoring goals like, like, like it's nothing, man. Like it's absolutely nothing. Your goalie blows? Yeah, sure. Whatever. Uh, I can have a 93 overall goaltender if you like and have an 889 save percentage too. So what the hell's your point? Uh, at least I'm not paying this guy $8 million per year to shit the bed in the playoffs. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Game number six on the road in LA. Here we go. Times eight simula. <laughs> I mean, I'm telling you, it's the team comp. They just score so early on us. They have no problem scoring goals on Seattle. But Wagner is going to tie up the game, baby. Yeah. All right. So it's a tie game here. If we can win this, game seven, anything can happen in the game seven. Five minutes left here in the first period. Get to the end. Just get to the end. Just get to the end. All tied up. Bang. All right. So after one, we're out shooting them. 17 shots to 14, and it's 1-1. I just hate how they get that first shot of the game and it goes in. It's such a ball buster, man. Second period underway. Shots are in our favor, although the LA Kings have taken a shit ton of shots as well. These are two offensive teams for some reason. They don't have a star, but the LA Kings are deep. And Brendan Carlo is going to take the lead. But Alexander Ovechkin and uh, Dominic Kubelik. That's the explosion the Seattle Stallions were looking for. Trenton Spiller. Grubauer has been pulled. We got to them, ladies and gentlemen. Ludwig Carlson. All right. So we've had two out of six games where we exploded. All right, so that's that's uh, that's somewhat good, and we're only up by five. I wouldn't say this game's over just yet. The way this simulation's been going, oh god, Jeremy Roy. No, that's not Jeremy Roy because we would have seen his face. That's another guy. Fourteen minutes left. They're only down by four. Is this thing going to a game seven? Four on three power play to start. What the hell is going on in this series, my man? It's a chippy ass here. People be fighting. It's a rivalry. Seattle wins it 6-2 to two over the LA Kings. And we got ourselves game seven for the second series in a row. Oh, we're earning it this year, ladies and gentlemen. Let me tell you. All right, so hang on a second. Let's take a look at these Seattle stats. Uh, plus two. Uh, all right, so the changes that I made are netting us plus. I mean, the, the goals that are going in are on the penalty kill. So we're, we're, getting, we're getting stops here. All right, continue. So we got game seven. Uh, I don't want to jinx it, but when we had game seven last time, we went to somebody who gave us all of the advice that we absolutely need. I need the good luck again, ladies and gentlemen. Woohoo! Coach's Corner brought to you by Seattle Stallion fans everywhere about to have another heart attack with a second consecutive game seven. Uh, you already know what I'm about to say. You fought hard to get back in this series following the good old Canadian boys. Steven Stamkos, Elliot Van Ryan, Alexei Lafreniere. Go out there, get it done, and get back to the Western Conference Finals. Do it for blue. Yeah! Don Cherry, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much, Don. All right. So he was our good luck charm in round number one up against the Edmonton Oilers. And now it's time. Van Ryan's Dutch? Oh, well, whatever. Follow Stammer then. And follow Lafreniere. Follow Jake Bean. All right. It was our good luck charm in round number one. Will it work again here in round number two? We've come back from a 3-1 series deficit. Game number seven at home, baby. Come on. All right. It's a good start. They haven't even had a shot on net, but they do get a power play, which is going to change all that. Oh, and Jake Vertanen, who's been a stud for the LA Kings so far in this series, opens up the goal scoring. But Nate Schmidt ties it up for the Seattle Stallions. Ludwig Carlson takes the lead for Seattle. Yes! Get to the end of the first. Get to the end of the first. Come on, Bednar. Come on, Bednar. All right. All right. That's the kind of start that I wanted. Shots 15 to 10 for your Seattle Stallions. And a 2-1 lead. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Come on now. Second period underway. Power play early. Oh my god. Five on three. Would you guys please stop taking penalties, you fucking idiots. Oh my god. Brooke ties it up, but Elliot Van Ryan, the Dutch Canadian, he reclaims the advantage for his Seattle Stallions. I told you, Don Cherry knows what he's talking about. Halfway through the game, Seattle is up by one. Five minutes left here in the second. And Matias Pressburg! 
Gives his team a two-goal advantage. Get to the end. Get to the end, Yanni. Get to the end, Yanni. And your Seattle Stallions have a 4-2 lead going into the third period. All right. Come on. The routine in place. We're out shooting them 28-15. to This could be a comeback of champions here. We're a dynasty. We believe. No one can beat us. We're not defeated until they've killed us all right we're not done until we're dead so come on boys third period underway come on insurance bednar leadership veteran come on the guys are getting paid someone score for us no roy gets the la kings back within one i can't take it nine minutes seven minutes left hold on seattle shut the door no jake for tannin power play for la are you fucking kidding me Oh my god! And we have ourselves a game seven in overtime. Let's go. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Thundershock. Game seven overtime. Holy crap, this is awesome. All right, which team is going to get the goal? The first one. Whoa! Who was that? Kubalik with the clap bomb. That was amazing. Lafreniere finds Kubalik. Laffy! Taffy! Captain Lafreniere gets his Seattle Stallions to the Western Conference Finals. Who said he sucks? Kiss my ass. Yes! Yes! From 3-1 down, your Seattle Stallions find the confidence with the good luck charm of Don Cherry, and they get the victory. It's not over yet, ladies and gentlemen. Eight more. We got eight. Eight more. Let's go! Holy crap. He just did it. I'm going to take a moment here, because a lot of times in these general manager franchise modes, you know, you... you you blow by monumental moments that turn players into legitimate superstars. You know, a lot of people have been counting out Alexei Lafreniere and what he's already done in his career. I feel like this is like, like, he's already 25 and he's had great seasons, but he's finally hit his prime. It's his first year with 99 points. He really just took off this year, right? No, he had 92 points actually a couple of years ago, but he really just took off this season. And in the playoffs, the years where he would uh, we would lose in the first rounds, you know, he wouldn't have the greatest stats, but the times that we won it, he was right there. And again, he's right there again. But he just, at 25 years of age, just had his first career playoff overtime goal, and it was in a game seven overtime when his team was down 3-1. People saying that he wasn't Captain Clutch. Like, what else does he need to do? What else does he need to do? All right, he's looking for his third Stanley Cup, six President's Trophies, the captain of the team, constantly getting it done, and now he's got himself an overtime playoff clinching goal. I mean, come on, man. Playoff round clinching goal. That's just, that's that's legendary, man. That is legendary. So, uh, let's move on. I've already saved it. Do not worry. Let us move on, and we have, okay, so in the last three years, these two teams have won the Stanley Cup. We've won it twice. The Chicago Blackhawks were the team that split our two Stanley Cups. Um, now, they lost Patrick Kane after they won the Stanley Cup, but very interesting team right here. A few lines. Do you guys remember what we, because we faced them in the playoffs last year, right? Do you remember what the series was? I can't remember. I can't even remember what the series was when we, when we played them last season. It was like the second or third round. Uh, Hawks in four? Well, no, we, we won. Hawks in four? All right, you guys are just predicting against me, I see. <laughs> Sweep. We swept them? I don't even know. So, right, they had the better Nylander brother, 88 overall. Kirby Dak now has been moved up to the first line at 88. And Alex Dabrinkit. All right, they got a decent team. I, I, I take that back. It's not even decent. Those are studs. Those are studs. Those are guys in their 20s that are studs. All right, that's scary. Mika Zabinijad is the older statesman, but he's dropping off, but he's still 86 overall with a Dylan Strom who's 30 and a Brendan Gallagher who's 35. So the older two-way guys are on the second. Grundstrom, Tierney, and Brett Connolly, weak. Uh, De La Rose, Rochette, and Tulola, weak. Defensively, Bockvist, Zancanaro, offensive defenseman. They have two offensive defensemen alongside of one another, though. So I think that's the reason why we can score. Stanley, Merrill, Carrick, Galvis. I mean, a weak-ass defensive core, but <laughs> uh, so was the LA Kings, right? And then Shesterkin in the net. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, we beat them 4-2 last year. We beat them 4-2. We beat them in six games last year in round number two. Or was it the conference finals? Oh, I can't remember because we beat somebody to go off until the Boston Bruins. I, I I don't remember. Whatever. All right. But it's year number eight between. Yeah, it would have been unless they had a wild card team. 
shit, whatever, whatever, ladies and gentlemen, whatever. So here we go. I'm off, I'm off track. <laughs> I'm gonna get back on track. Here we go. Home ice advantage in Seattle. Round number three, the Western Conference Finals, game number one. We're leaving the lines the exact same way they are. We're on a three-game winning streak right now with these lineups. So let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Power play early. Fuck it. And it's like a major or a double minor. Like, what is going on with the way that we decide to start these games? Stop allowing the first goal. Stop taking early penalties. It's so damn annoying. Now, the good thing is that we have been answering back, tying it up at 1-1. Even if they get ahead 2-0, we get back to 2-2. That was the, the series against the LA Kings coming back. But geez, Louise, get a better start to the game. John, your PK is brutal. Is it my penalty kill? All right, remind me to take a look at my penalty kill after this game. All right, all right, I can change that. Uh, so re uh, well, yeah, 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 second period underway. <laughs> I'm so off right now, man. Oh, that overtime game took it out of me. That's silly. Power play for Chicago goes nowhere. And Jake Bean, he's going to score right after the power play for the Chicago Blackhawks. Halfway through the game, your Seattle Stallions have a 2-1 lead. Shot totals are very even, though. And Dominic Kublik against his uh, against the team that drafted him or signed him. I don't know if he was Was he drafted or undrafted? A team that he played his first career NHL game for in his first couple of seasons for Chicago. He gets some revenge. Nice. So a 3-1 lead going into the third period. I just, I would like to just take this one calmly, coolly, collectively. Oh no, don't have an adventure here in the third period. Power play, they're only down by one now. I don't want an adventure. I just want to get game one out of the way. Halfway through the third period. Power play for Seattle. At least it's going to kill some time. We do not convert. Five minutes left. Does Chicago have a late game tying goal? Ah, no, they do not. Jan Bednar holds on to it. That is the textbook victory. 3-2 in a playoff game. That is exactly what we want. All right. Um, ideally, we'd score more goals, but keeping them to two or less, beautiful. Because we know our team can explode. Uh, Seattle. All right. So they only got two goals that game. Uh, I got to check if his power play goals. I got to check at Chicago stats, right? Power play goals. They got the one goal. They got one. They got one even strength goal. So let me quickly just back out of this. We'll take a look at the penalty kill stats for our team in the playoffs. Uh, it might be... It might be all over the place. And I also... It might just be the way that our team is built. Like, when it comes to the simulation engine, the, this game might have to find a way to score goals on us because our team is just stacked 5v5. Uh, Seattle. All right. No, we're not down there. Penalty kill. Entire league. Seattle. We're at 87.2%. That's, I'm, I'm fine with that, to be honest, man. I'm, I'm fine with that. One every, you know, one power play out of like every nine or 10 or nine. Yeah, nine or 10. A goal's going in. The penalty kill looks fine. Are you guys seeing the same thing that I'm seeing? Oh, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's doing fine. I think we're just taking too many penalties. That might be the thing because of our defensive defensemen and our power forwards, right? Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, I'm fine with our penalty kill. So we won game one. Uh, even though we didn't score goals, that can always change. I like the fact that we kept the puck out of the net. So I'm not making any line changes. Power play is garbage. Power play is only 12%. Yeah, what are you going to do, man? We might be getting a lot of power plays. Power play, five on three. Oh, you guys might have a point. Garbage power play right there. Garbage. Another power play. Garbage power play. We just, what the hell? We played like the whole period on the power play. At least we're out shooting them. 11 shots to two. All right. Well, let's take a look at our power play after this. We could, we could make some change. What do you guys think about the power play? I mean, I don't want to make any changes if we're winning. But this is another power play. They've had... Fuck, man. That's three straight with a five. Another power play. The Zebras be gifting us the game. What are you fools doing? Another PP. Wow. We can't score. There it is. William Nylander. Leave it 5v5. That's when we're at our best. PP, PP is the biggest uh, uh, flaw. All right. All right. We'll take a look at that right after this game. That's crazy. We're only up by one. They're still in this game. They should not be in this game. We should have gotten it. We should have like a three-goal lead with all the power plays they've, had, they've handed us. Power play. What the bloody hell, man? You guys are so correct. Our power play is straight garbage. Eight minutes left. Six minutes left. Come on, Bednar. No! Oh! Yes! Vorobayev gets the empty netter. And Jan Bednar is going to hold on for that, for, that, uh, for that shutout, baby. What the hell? How many did we have? Hang on. High sticking. That's one. Oh, I'm counting the red. Uh, I'm counting there. Sorry. Uh, interference. That's one. Two. 
three, four, five, six. They had 12 minutes. They had 17 minutes of penalties in a freaking 60 minute game. They had 17, almost one third of the game they spent on the penalty kill. And we only won two to nothing? What? Okay, okay. They spent one third of the game on the PK, man. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look at our power play lines. Uh, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. All right, so we're not going to be changing any of that. What do you guys think? I mean, I could get Ovi in there for the shot totals. Uh, Stammer, we got up there with Lias Anders. Ly I know Stammer takes shots. Power forward. Do we want to go chemistry for the power play? Volchenkov off? Oh, okay. Okay. Do we want to just go like five plus five? You know what? If I go uh, Kubelik. Yeah. Hang on a second, guys. I'm just reading the Twitch chat as I'm doing this. Go chemistry. So, okay. So, there's the chemistry back then. All right. So, I still got Stammer's big shot on the right. I got Lafreniere, Anderson, Jake Bean, and Kubelik. All right. Laffy Taffy off one. Hell no. Laffy Stan. Uh, Pressburg with Nylander. Let me take off. Let me take off Ludwig Carlson. Let me go with uh, Alexander Ovechkin. All right. So, let's go Snipes. Screw the power forward. Let's go Snipers. And we get the plus three then. All right, and I'll throw him right up there. Look good? And in fact, you know what? Let's go. Let's go Nylander, the playmaker with two snipers on the wings, and then Presti can play the point. Look good? Power forward on the blue. Yeah, I'm going to try that. I want to see, because Ovi clearly is the better shooter. He just is. And he's going to help out. Now we get the plus five and the plus three again. Don't mess the momentum. Well, we're not messing the five on five, so we're not messing with anything that's going to hurt, unless they get shorthanded goals. <laughs> then it's like, fuck. But I think that's good. All right, so we're up two nothing in this series. Things are things are looking good, but I like this new wave that we're 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 attacking the playoffs. You know, even after a game where we win, we're making line changes. I like it. I like it. we're not we're not standing pat. We're not. This is why this is what probably led us to coming back against the LA Kings, trying to figure out those lines, and then we figured out. All right, we we'll just go with it, and it worked. So here you go, game number three in Chi Town, ladies and gentlemen. Let, well, let, we didn't get the sweep done in round number one. We had a 3 nothing series lead. How about a sweep here in the conference finals to set it up for the Stanley Cup finals? That'd be nice. Penalty kill comes through, but then Brendan Gallagher is going to score after the penalty ends. So they got themselves an even strength goal. Five minutes left here in the first period. Two minutes left. Nice. We always get that. It's the one thing. We're allowing the first goal of the game, but we are. Nate Schmidt has had a lot of like 1-1 one, one tying goals, hasn't he? He has had a lot of those in there. Nice job, my man. Gallagher scored from center. Fucking oh no, Schmidt scored from center ice. Yeah, baby. <laughs> All right, here we go. Second period underway. Come on now, ladies and gentlemen. Power play. Yes, Alexei Lafreniere. So the power play, we score on it. I don't know if it was coincidence. I don't know if we were just due. The PP works. That's green, baby. That's green on the PP. All right, so, oh, and Logan Stanley's going to tie up the game for the Chicago Blackhawks. Now, this series is far from over, all right? We just witnessed a 3-1 comeback. Give me a 3-0 lead, please. We got to win this period. We got to win this period. This is a must win. I've, I saw what happened with the Edmonton Oilers. Uh, Oilers won three straight on us in the first round. We won three straight on the LA Kings in the second round. You know, three straight is nothing in this simulation. So, I, I need the chance to win four, all right? I need the chance to win. They need to win four to beat us. Come on. We need this third period. Third period, 2-2 two -two tie. Shots are even. Come on, come on. Somebody step up. Alexei's already had a goal this game. How about Presti? How about uh, William Nylander? <sighs> Trenton Spiller on the fourth line, baby. Oh, my God. I love it. Van Ryan and Spiller, my depth snipers that I drafted, baby. Back-to-back -back years. These two guys are fantastic. The chemistry just worked out for us. And uh, that is going to be a 4-2, 5-2 victory. Steven Stamkos with the empty netter and a 3-0 series lead. All right. So the exact same thing as the Edmonton Oilers, all right? We know the reverse sweep is possible. But what are the odds that we don't have one win in four games? We don't have one of the next four where we just go off. You know what I mean? I, I highly doubt that. But like it's, I wouldn't bet my life on it. So we're not going to make any line changes. Whatever we have right now is working tremendously against the Chicago Blackhawks. They cannot score. They cannot score. Now, if they're due for a game where they score, so be it. We've won six games in a row, dating back to the LA Kings series. So I will make the argument for the AI. They're due. All right. The opposing team for the Seattle Stallions is due. We've won six in a row. So I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm fine with that. Reverse sweep. It's possible. It's absolutely possible. I don't care if I'm up 3-1, 3-0 in the series. I don't feel like that series is over. Far from it, in fact. 
But I know for a fact that our team can score. Look at the shot totals again, 17 to 7. So even though we're, we're trailing, I, 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 we're a better team. With the LA Kings simulation, it was like every game they were simulating better than us. And we were struggling to get those victories, right? We also lost the game one in overtime, which sucked. Against the Chicago Blackhawks, it's the opposite. I feel like we're simulating far better, and we still maintain that ability to score it at will. You know, at any time, we could just explode. And here it, here it is again. Pressburg and Lafreniere score in the second period for your Seattle Stallions. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. Here it is. Sweep. Sweep. Sweep in the freaking conference finals. Conference finals sweep. Come on, baby. Third period, underway. Chicago down by one. Seattle eyeing another trip. Back-to-back -back years to the Stanley Cup Finals. Oh, my God. This is getting real. This is getting real, real. Eight minutes left. Power play for Seattle. Another power play goal. We make the changes to the power play, and we get two PP goals in uh, uh, game number four. It was the deciding factor. Galvis gets one back. The power play works, ladies and gentlemen. And your Seattle Stallions sweep the Chicago Blackhawks in the Western Conference Finals and are off to the Stanley Cup Finals. We figured out exactly what we needed to do, and now we have the line changes set for the Stanley Cup Finals. We're set. Power play goals. We got two of them. Kubalik and Lafreniere. So that first line chipped in. Beautiful. Beautiful, boys. Beautiful, boys. We got it. We got it. We're back. Back to back years in the Stanley Cup Finals. Oh, my God. This is a level of success I've never witnessed. This is incredible. Never in live streams. That's for damn sure. Burnaby player. Uh, That's Burnaby, right? Let me just go. Let me just make sure. I'm not best lining my, a my NHL squad. Yeah, AHL. Best lines. I don't give a shit what you do. All right. Oh, uh, advance, advance day. Yeah, I don't want to screw this up. Advance day, hang on. I don't want to screw this up. The NHL playoffs are complete. And the Buffalo, wow, what a story. This year's Tampa Bay Lightning. Think about it. Last year, we were the best team in the regular season. Who was the best, the second best team? The Buffalo Sabres. They had 120 points on the year, 60 win season. And they got swept in the first round. Tampa Bay got swept in the first round last season. And what did they do this year? They went on to win the Stanley Cup. The Buffalo Sabres got swept last year after having a great season, and now they're in the Stanley Cup Finals. Oh my God. Jack Eichel, baby. The Eichel Tower made it to the Stanley Cup Finals, finally. All right, create new file. Here we go. Saving the game. I got it. I got it. I got it. Saving the game. And let's see. Let me just simulate an extra day just in case there are any injuries. Let's see the team that we're going up against here in the Cup Finals for year number eight, the Buffalo Sabres. Let's see. Olofsson, 86 overall. Jack Eichel, yeah, he's 30. He's right there in his prime. Yeah, he's still got his exact elite. He's ready to make something happen. Sam Reinhardt, 31. Again, he's still got his top. Oh, he, he might have dropped already. I don't know. 30, 31. Again, they're in their prime, but time is running out, right? Like, Olofsson, 31. This is a team that needs to get it done right now. They can't be like, hey, five years from now, we'll have a better squad. Eichel and Reinhardt are going to be in their mid-30s by then. They got to get it done right now. Jeff Skinner's in his mid-30s, but he's considered depth on that team, so it works. Middle stat, uh, he's 28 years of age. Again, they're a team in their prime. Absolutely. Uh, Dylan Cousins on the third line, 26 years of age. So they got some good... They got some McCann fourth line center. They got some good center depth here at this, uh, at this, at this on this team, I should say. And they have the superstar on the first. Okay, this is scary. I believe in them. I don't care about their wingers in the bottom six. I believe in them. They can. They they have enough offensive output here. What about their blue line? Is Ristolainen and Dahlin still there? Yes, they are. All right, he's a plus 14 in 15 games played. Two-way defender at 90 overall. And Rasmus Dahlin, two-way defender at 90 or 89 overall. All right, they're, they're legit. They are legit. They have the superstars. They have the ability to dominate 5v5. I, 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 I don't know because Ristolainen and Dahlin, they're not offensive defensemen. Middle stat is a playmaker. Is Eichel a player? Is he, he's a play. They don't have a sniper. I'm not taking anything against them, but if chemistry does influence the power play, they could use like a, a real good sniper on that line to bring it together and an offensive defenseman, right? So the power plays, I'm not going to say they can't score, but I've seen, I've seen harder team comps before, like with Tampa Bay, Kucherov, Stamkos, and you know, or, uh, or uh, Winnipeg with uh, Shifley and Line A, you know, there, there are better team comps, but still Jack Eichel brings that up. And uh, also Dahlien and Ristolainen. So they have the studs. And then Lukanen in the net. Oh my fucking god. 
this is a new level of bullshittery I've never seen. 75 overall? In the Stanley Cup Finals? I'm telling you, you don't need goaltending in this game. Save your money for up front. I'm telling you. All right, so we just got to get to this guy, Kokokin. Kokokinen. Guy's fucking 75 overall. If we get to their backup, Perhorkin. He's got a 9-3-3 save percentage at 70 overall in the NA. Oh, my. Whatever. 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 All right. So, we got to get to him. We got to get to him. Injury report. Let's see if the Buffalo Sabres have anything here. Uh, Seattle Stallions. We have a clean bill of health still, which is good. Buffalo Sabres. All right. So, they are clean. Now, good news is that we have tweaked with the lines that uh, I think I'll go. Even if we lose game one, I think I might leave the lines the way they are because I really like the way we've been tweaking them over the last seven games and also the production. Ever since we were down 3-1 against the LA Kings, uh, one, two, three, seven goals for, six goals for, five goals for, three goals for, two, five, four. So we've been scoring, and we're on a seven-game winning streak. So I think I'll give this squad two chances. But if we fall down 2 nothing, we might have to do some crazy line changes, all right? So here it is, ladies and gentlemen. This is, this is a dynasty for sure, absolutely. Uh, three times in the cup. In four years, and if we can get this one, three cups in four years with six straight President's Trophies, the best team in the... Oh, I mean, Jesus. It just keeps on piling up. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen, Seattle. We have the Stanley Cup Finals between the Stallions and the Buffalo Sabres. Jack Eichel versus Alexei Lafreniere. All right. Uh, uh, Ristolainen versus Volchenkov. Darlene versus Bean. And then the freaking goaltenders. My God. But here we go. In Thundershock, game number one. Both teams not scoring early. So it might be a defensive series. They don't have that sniper. Power, playmakers everywhere. And I remember in the past, playmakers can actually play pretty good defense. But uh, no snipers. But Jack Eichel is going to score. So the first player to score in the Stanley Cup Finals for year eight is Jack Eichel. He's ready, man. He's been waiting like 12 years in the NHL. <laughs> he's ready to go. He's not play. He's not playing this down. He's, we're going to get the best version of Jack Eichel in the Stanley Cup Finals. Now, we are out shooting them 15 to 12. So... Let's just look at the uh, the positives and try to answer back and tie this game all up at once. There it is. I, another one. Another 1-1 one, one tie for Nate Schmidt. That's like his third or fourth. I'm telling you. Nate Schmidt, what a free agent acquisition. Ludwig Carlson, third line, taking the lead for Seattle. Beautiful. Halfway through the game. Alexander Ovechkin still scoring. Soderlin, though, gets his team back within one. We're not just going to take off like that. Yep, they can score too. Okay, so they can score. We can score. We know this to be the case. Jack Eichel is going to be a demon that we have to slay. All right, but uh, we are scoring goals as well. How long did it take us to get three goals right there? Less than 10 minutes. Less than 10 minutes and we can explode for three goals. Now, they can do it too. Uh, it might just come down to which goaltender is going to be the best here. And I like our chances. Bednar is an 80. <laughs> Kukanen is like a 75. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is a huge third period. Huge. Which team is going to take the lead in the Stanley Cup Finals after game one? Here we go. Third period. Underway. Silent so far. Oh, but Jeff Skinner on the second line is going to take the 4-3 the lead. Ten minutes left. Olofsson, the two left-wing snipers on the second and first line. Power play for Seattle, five on three. Goes nowhere, and the weak power play continues to be a weakness for the Stallions. And that's going to be all she wrote for game number one. All right, so I'm not going to make any line changes. We outshot them. They just got offense, and we, other than the 10-minute explosion that we had in the second period uh we just were silent the entire game i'm not going to make any changes uh minus two carlo lafreniere anderson first line got shut down we'll see if the first line gets shut down again but i want to see what they can do all right uh, there they are seven and one in the last eight with these lines so i'm gonna i'm gonna keep it the exact same all right game two in thunder shock we need to stop them from scoring but we also need to explode we can't just be okay with three goals we need to get four we need to get five it's going to be those kind of series. Expect to see that 7-7 game that goes to overtime again. Shit like that, right? 13 minutes left here. Game number two in the first period. Come on now, Seattle. Just keep on simulating and, and, and outproducing them in the shot totals, and things will turn our way. Look at this defensive. I'm, I'm scared. I'm scared about their ability to keep the puck out of the net. The thing about the playmakers, again, they need a sniper to dominate offensively, even though they got five goals in the last game. But the playmakers are good defensively. I know they are. All right, so they got playmakers everywhere. A bunch of selky players. Remember the Carolina Hurricane series? They had like nine playmakers. We couldn't score. I learned my lesson. Second period, power play to start 
for Buffalo. Goes nowhere. Uh, and Sam Reinhardt's going to open up the goal scoring for the Buffalo Sabres. Your Seattle Stallions have been silenced so far, but Samuel Jarrett is going to tie up the game. So game one and game two, they take the lead. We tie it up at ones. Where does it go from there? Jack Eichel, his third goal of the finals, gives his Buffalo Sabres a 2-1 lead. Yeah, we got to make some line changes. Definitely got to make some line changes. We are just not simulating well, not scoring goals here against the Buffalo Sabres. All right, so this is the difference between a 2-0 series lead for Buffalo and a 1-1 series tie. Game's not over, boys. Someone get out there and be a hero. Power play for Buffalo. Who took the penalty, you stupid idiot? You ain't the hero. Come on now, 15 minutes left. Where's the offense? They have a 75 overall fucking goaltender. Power play. Samuel Gerrard is second of the game. That's huge. Gets the Seattle Stallions all tied up. Five minutes left here in the third period, ladies and gentlemen. Are we going? Oh my God. Stanley Cup Finals. Overtime. So here we are, overtime, game number two in Thundershock, baby. This is the difference between a 2-0 series lead for the Buffalo Sabres or a 2-1 two, two, or one, one series tie. We have got to win this one, my man. We have got to. So I'm going back with the same settings that have delivered that last uh, overtime victory with Alexei Lafreniere, snippity-doo. But here come the Buffalo Sabres. Sam Reinhart looking to take that 2-0 series lead. Finds Jack Eichel. Oh, my God. The Eichel Tower just whiffs it past the post. That could have been studly for him. This might be Jack Eichel's year, man. Nobody's stopping Jack Eichel this year, and perhaps. We can't stop him. Out front to Olsen. Down low. Jack Eichel's got it again. The Buffalo Sabres just hemming the Stallions in their own zone. Olsen out, and Bednar forced to make a save. Let's get uh, let's get Pressburg's line out there. Ooh, ooh. I'm not liking this, boys. Jack Eichel, top 10 in goals. Man, Ludwig Carlson's right there with them. But no, Jack Eichel, he's playing great. Middle stat, Skinner and Abramov up against Pressburg, Ovi and Nylander. Come on now. They have a shit goaltender. Give it up to the great eight, Alexander Ovechkin. I'm going to tell him to shoot when he gets to his forehand. Forehand. Well, that's not a great forehand shot. That's a floaty backhand right in the middle of the ice. Oh, it's great that the game uh, is able to make that uh, determination for you. Here we go. The Buffalo Sabres are going to dump that puck all the way down the ice. Picked up by the Stallions. Up to Samuel Jarrett. He's got some space and speed on the left wing here. Going to find Nylander. Oh, Nylander getting the puck. Back to the point to Carlo. To Nylander. Going to find Gerard. Clap bomb is going to hit Pressburg in front. Who's not even looking at the shot. Come in. So it hits him in the small of the back. Real good programming. Here come the Buffalo Sabres. And wrist shot. Good save by Bednar. Pressburg. Over to Carlo. Up to Ovi. 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 Bang! Ovi! 75 overall goalie. Why not? Give it a go. Third line. Let's get Van Ryan and Ludwig Carlson out there, shall we? Top 10 in penalty minutes. Brendan Carlo. Maybe that's the problem, boys. Too many penalties by Brendan Carlo. I gotta trade him. Got a two-way defender in there. Stamkos, Carlson, Van Ryan. Out against their tired second line. Oh my god. Middle stat beat Stamkos on the faceoff. What the hell? McCabe. Up to Abramoff. Abramoff. Across the blue line, number 13. Oh, no. Lucky number 13. Pass! Middle stat! Oh, what a great play. Bednar forced into a, a tough save right there. Stammer, win the damn face off, you fool. I'll give you Volchenkov and Bean. So you can even get it out of your own defensive end. Win that damn face off, Stamkos. Damn it! Cousins wins the face off. We can't win a draw! Bednar forced into another huge save. Fucking hell, man. We can't win a draw. This is hurting us. Bean. Dumps it in, hits off the boards. All right. Can we, you know what, fourth line, get out there. My first three lines in the first minute and 40 seconds here have just played in our defensive end the entire time, losing every faceoff. Can we get out there and do something? Vic Wesley, can you win a faceoff for me up against Dylan Cousins? Third line. There you go. Leave it to Vic Wesley to get it done. Spiller. All right, boys. Maybe you want to dump that puck in. Schmidt, up to Spiller. Spiller finds Wagner. Oh, Spiller, back door. Oh, this game. Oh, this game. Wagner on the boards. Finds Vorobayev. Up to Wesley. The backhand tries to get it over the pad. And it's a good save there by the 75 overall. Ah, uh, we got ourselves. Yeah, I still have the fourth line out there. I want to switch. But wait! Okay, so down by two in the Stanley Cup Finals. The series is not over yet. So we got to win the next one. We, if we go down 3 nothing, ooh, it's over. Um, now, only two goals, four in that game. Three goals by the end of regulation of the game before that. It was actually a good game because it was 2-2, and we had them. I just, uh, line changes, I guess. Ovi, 
Probably Ovi off that second line again. At 78 overall, it must be getting eaten alive. Yeah, minus three. So let's change it up. Let's go Carlson. St I got to keep the Carlson, Stamkos, and Van Ryan line together. Let's move them up. They're doing pretty good. I'll keep Pressburg, Nylander, and Ovi together, but they'll be moved down to the third line. And what about Lafreniere, Kubalik? Do I need to change this line up a little bit? They're not getting any points this year. Anderson's only got 11 points. Kubalik? Kubalik's doing better. Pressburg. No one? Ovi on the first line. Hmm. You know who's doing pretty good when I gave him a shot this year? Spiller. Spiller with Pressburg and Lafreniere. The first year NHL entry draft. Carlson, Stammer, and Van Ryan. Anderson, Nylander, Kubelik. That'll be a filthy third line that can just go out there and dominate. And then Wagner... Wesley Ovechkin. Ovi was scoring goals. I'll leave him on the fourth line. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, Bean, Carlo. I'm going to use Vorobayev up with uh, Carlo. I'm going to leave Gerard down with Schmidt. All right. And then the power play. The power play was doing fine. Just wonder. Pressburg up instead. No, I'll leave Pressburg on the point because we did get a few power play goals right there. Uh, the penalty kill. Penalty kill is doing fine as well. We have all of our best players in there. All right, so Pressburg hasn't done anything. I know, but he, he's the power forward who, who if he plays good defensively as well. I need a power forward on the first line to help out defensively, though, right? And if it's not going to be Kubelik, it's got to be Pressburg. It's not going to be Carlson because I want to work with uh, Stamkos and Van Ryan. So, yeah, we're going to try this. If this doesn't work and we go down 3 nothing, we're just going to go back and do the exact same thing we did with the LA Kings, change back to the lines, and just hope for the best. All right, uh, switch Carlo and Schmidt. No, no, Schmidt's getting goals in there. I don't want to... No, 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 no. Carlo's fine right there. Carlo's fine with Vorobaya. Vorobaya's going to bring that guy up. That second line will shut it down, and then Gerard can help out Schmidt and get some goals on that third. So this is it, ladies and gentlemen. All right, we're only down 2 nothing in the series, but we're going to need a game here where, where our offense steps up in a big way. The third line's on the second line. Uh, Spiller's been moved up to the first line with Pressburg and Lafreniere. Power play, and Van Ryan's going to score. Open up the goal scoring. First shot of the game on the PP. I like to see it. Come on now. We're out shooting them. Good. I need some more offense, though. Another power play. Yes! Steven Stamkos. All right, so you guys did help me help uh, fix the power play. That's another game where we got two power play goals early. Trenton Spiller! First line. What a coaching decision. I noticed that Trenton Spiller was having quite a little playoff run. We moved him up to the third line. He got himself some goals. Let's try to move him up to the first line. Let's see what he does. Trenton Spiller's getting his chance to, to shine here, ladies and gentlemen. So we're up by three. Shots are 14 to four. Game is not over yet, though. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, all right? Second period. I just need us to simulate better. And now, with the third line being Nylander, Anderson, and Kubelik, I mean, that should just dominate their bottom six. I'm just hoping that uh, Gerard scores middle stat so that both teams even each other out. I'm just hoping, oh, for fuck's sake, I'm hoping that Pressburg and Lafreniere could bring Spiller up. Are you fucking kidding me? Just like that? Ah, they can score. There's nothing I can do about it, boys. We're, if we're going to win, we need to get like seven goals a game. Keep scoring, boys. There is no stop in the Buffalo Sabres. They can score. They don't need a sniper. I take it back. They do not need a sniper. So we have a two-goal advantage going here into the third period. This game is not over yet, man. Far from it. We're going to need to average like six goals a game if we're going to want to beat the Buffalo Sabres. I really... I really doubt we have any goaltender wins in us in the Stanley Cup Finals. The offense has just got to take off, all right? So here we go. Third period. Underway. Up by two. Up by one. Jeff Skinner's going to score. Up by his tie game. Casey Middlestat. They, they tie it up before the 16-minute mark. Power play for Buffalo. Goes nowhere. Alexander Ovechkin scores on the power play. It's one of these series, man. Just sit back and hope we fucking score seven a game. Jake Bean makes it seven to five. My goodness gracious. Five minutes left, three minutes left, eight to five, Lafreniere. All right, so the new lineup's got us eight goals, six goals for Buffalo. This is what I mean. This game is crazy dumb when it comes to the simulation. It's all about offense. It's all about offense. You don't build this team. You don't build your team for defense in this game. Hell no. You get as many offensive threats as you can get. This is why I hold on to a guy like Alexander Ovechkin, because he can shoot. And even on the fourth fucking line, he can still score for us. Eight to six. Good lord, game. All right, we got the W. That's the important thing. We got the W. 
minuses jake bean minus three volts whatever it's an eight six game it's all over the freaking place we got two power play goals as well so of course people are going to be suffering elliot van ryan's been incredible though all right so sim to the next game 2-1 series lead for the buffalo sabers so we're right back in this even if they get a 3-1 lead we've came back from 3-1 down before so this is a series ladies and gentlemen um Again, we're going to allow goals. There's nothing I can do to keep the puck out of the net against the Buffalo Sabres. We have to score goals. We just have to score more than them. I know that sounds that sounds simple, but uh, you know how I always say score but the three by the end of regulation? Double that. we got to get six by the end of regulation. Two goals a period is what we got to average, essentially, to have any kind of chance to beat the Buffalo Sabres here. So game number four, power play goes nowhere. Another power play. We are scoring on the power plays all of a sudden. So the power play changes that you guys suggested in the Twitch chat have been incredible for us. Power play for Buffalo goes nowhere. And that's going to come to the end of the first period with a one nothing lead for your Seattle Stallions. But remember, they can score three in a minute, it seems like. So don't get ahead of yourselves, boys. This is still a long game to go. 40 minutes to go. Second period, Stringer Bell is going to score for the Buffalo Sabres. Getting his team all tied up. But Ludwig Carlson, oh man, our third line, which is now our second line, has been the best line all playoffs long. If we go down 3-1, I might want to just go in the third line on the first, give them the most ice time, because what the hell? And Alexander Ovechkin, see, you forget about him on the fourth line, he can still get the goals for you. He can still get the goals for you. All right, all right, up by two. Again, the game is not over. They got two quickly by the 16-minute the mark in the last game, right? We had to get another, like, three or four. Come on now, boys. Bednar, I need you. I need a goalie game. I need a goalie game. We might not get any more offense. Power play. It's a long one. <sighs> Elliot Van Ryan contributing more to his Conn Smythe performance here. P Buffalo penalty kill goes nowhere. Or power play for Buffalo. Our penalty kill works. Ten minutes left. Oh, Jesus. Sam Reinhardt gets them back within two. I don't like this. I don't like this. Yes! Steven Stammer Stamkos. That is such a huge goal. I felt the momentum swinging for the Buffalo Sabres. That is going to be a 2-2 series tie. Alexei Lafreniere. So the genius coaching decision, both by myself and the, the fans and the Twitch scouts, this has been the difference between this playoff run and previous playoff runs. We've been active with our changes, and that it has played out perfectly for us. We've figured out our penalty kill. The fans helped me out with the power play. And based on how our team is playing, you know, we're making those real-time changes. And look at that. Eight goals in the last game, six goals in this game. We're scoring. We're scoring. We can score. And now even if they win one, all we have to do is win two more. We've got ourselves 14 wins in the Stanley Cup playoffs, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> all right, here we go. Game number five in Seattle, back home. Uh, either team has yet to win on at home ice, right? Every road team has won the first four games. They won the first two. We won the next two. So perhaps they have the advantage here. Come on, boys. If we're going to win, this might be our last chance to play here in Seattle this year. If we, if we lose two in a row or if we win two in a row, let's get, let's get a nice game for our fans and we <laughs> let the first goal. But there it is again, 1-1, one, 1-1. One. One, one. We allow the first goal. We answer right back with the goal from Pressburg. It wasn't Nate Schmidt this time. And then, and then we and then Nate Schmidt gets the 2-1 lead. I'm telling you, I can't remember how many times that's happened, but somebody, after this video's done, go back to the beginning of the playoffs and count how many times we went up or we went down by one and then we took a 2-1 lead by the end of the first or the second. Because that has happened a shit ton, man. Three seconds apart. It was a, it was a while apart. 20-something seconds, like 22 seconds apart. All right, so we have a 2-1 lead. Game's not over, though. Second period underway. Shots are even. Power play for the Buffalo Sabres. That's going to give them a few, a few shots. Five on three. Ah, oh, we couldn't score on it. I'm actually looking at our power play in a different light now. I feel like we can score on it. Nylander! Power play goal! You guys fixed my power play. Thank you so much. Prosper! Was that a shorty? Might have been a shorty or it might have been when he came out of the box. Two goal second period for your Seattle Stallions. And they have been on fire since losing the first two games and making the line changes. We are up by three in game number five. Third period. Just do not allow an early one. Get to the 15 minute mark. Get to the 15 minute mark. Get to the 15 minute mark. Come on, you fucking idiots. Good. Now get to the 10 minute mark. Slowly but... Trenton Spiller being moved up to the first line, showing us how it's all done. Way to go, Spiller. I mean, this guy has been subjected to the AHL in the fourth line his entire career, and now he's getting the chance on the biggest stage to share the ice with Pressburg and, and Laffy Taffy, baby. Vic Wesley on the fourth line. Oh, my God, we can score. Look at all that. We just rubbed it in late. All right. All right. Now, the reason I'm not getting crazy is because I know the Buffalo Sabres could easily win two in a row. They could win three in a row. They could win four in a row. So until you get this Stanley Cup one, 
It's not one. Until you do it, it ain't done. So we're one win away, but we could stay one win away by the end of the season, which is terrifying me right now. But we could also have the dynasty. I can have back-to-back -back live streams with two Stanley Cups. <laughs> All right, so everyone's playing great. There's no need to change anything. Even if we lose this game, there's no need. Seattle player Alexei Lafreniere has been injured with an injured knee. His estimated return is June 3rd. I make the line changes. I get one win away from the Stanley Cup. And Alexei goes down with an injured knee. Okay. What the fuck? Okay. Okay. Okay, I know what I'm doing. Stammer, S Van Ryan, Carlson. You guys have been playing great the entire playoff run. It is destiny. It is destiny that you guys get the chance to get it done. Plus 14, plus 14, plus 16. They're getting the chance. Fucking getting the chance. Now, I need the second line to get going again. Uh, Nylander... Yeah, no, we got to play our best players. Nylander, though, can play the the, 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 the Lafreniere role. Spiller can play there. So we're still keeping Spiller with Presti and then the Playmaker. Now we lost... Who do we lose here? We lost a Playmaker. Pick Wesley. So I got to throw in Ovi. No, I'm not throwing Ovi in. Hang on, hang on. Scratch players. I got to throw Lowry. I got to get Lowry in there. Yeah, I got to get Lowry in there. So let's just throw Lowry in there for right now. All right. Uh, centers. Lowry in there. I like what Ovi was doing on the fourth line. So let's mix up Vic Wesley there. Get the, mm. No, let's go fucking Lowry. Let's not mess up the fourth line. Fourth line was playing well. Let's just move Lowry into there. Who's got the better face-offs, Lowry or Anderson? Lowry's got 30. Anderson, oh, hell yeah. All right, there you go. Anderson, Kubelik. All right, so that third line's a little weak. A little, little weak right there. First line, I'm going to need you guys to just tear it up. Defensively, Jake Bean, Volchenko. I'm not changing that. Special teams this is where it gets all crazy now. Stammer, Anderson, Lowry. Fuck no. Oh my god. What do I do? Oh, fuck. I gotta keep the plus five, right? So, Nylander. Okay, Nylander gives us the plus five. Keep that the same. Lowry, Van Ryan, Presti, you're moving up. Gerard, Volchenk off. The Wolf. I'm going with... I'm, I don't give a fuck. I'm going. Playing him. Playing him. 93 overall. Playing him. Getting him going. Playing him. You got a problem with it? Deal with it. Volchenk off being Pressburg. Nylander. Stammer and Nylander. Pressburg. And Anderson. Gerard and Volchenko. Oh, uh, Volchenkov's already in there. So let's go Volk down here. And Bean, Gerard. Uh, I need like a sniper or somebody. Bean, Gerard's already in there. Hang on. Pressburg, Stamkos, Wesley, Ander Anderson's already in there. Kubelik. Kubelik's the guy. There it is. Kubelik. All right. Very good. Uh, penalty kill. I got to go through all the lines here, ladies and gentlemen, because that's a huge injury and I don't know what's getting messed up. Penalty kill. Bop, 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 bop. Looks good. Three man penalty kill. Bop, 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 bop. Looks good. Uh, extra attacker is very important. We might have some four on four hockey and I cannot have Lowry out there. Uh, so we're just going to switch up Presti and Nylander. They're going to play the first line. Anderson's going to go with, uh, Anderson's going to go with, let's see. Anderson goes with Stan, actually Stammer. I want Stammer in there on the second. Stamkos goes in there with... Go with Van Ryan. Gerard, Carlo, Bean, Volchenkov. And then Ovech. No, no, no. I need uh, Anderson with Kublik. <coughs> Damn, dude. What a, what a crazy injury to get. What the worst time. If we lose the cup because of this, fuck me. Three on three doesn't matter, or whatever. You never know. The game might use this to determine which team is better. And then, you know what I mean? Who the fuck knows? Van Ryan, get your ass in there. Oh, I'm swearing like a sailor now. It's getting serious. Extra attackers. Pressburg and... Anderson? Yeah, we'll go with Anderson. There you go. Pressburg and Anderson. Shootout. Lowry. Uh, yeah, let me just change this just in case. I'm not, I'm not taking any chances here. Anderson, Stammer, Nylander, Pressburg, Jake Bean. Yep. All right, am I forgetting anything? 
Goalies, Bednar, come on, buddy. Scratch player, so Alexei Lafreniere, 15 wins in the playoffs. And then he goes down with an injured knee, man. But he knows if I try to play it, you know, I'll just hurt my team. He's sitting out. He's getting somebody else in there. We're a deep squad. We're going to win it for you, Alexei. We're going to win it for you. Who's going to hoist the cup? You know, I'm getting ahead of myself. <clears throat> We're not, we haven't got the cup just yet. Sim to the next game. All right, so let's sim. <coughs> oh, I can't even talk. All right, so let me go back to edit lines. Let me just go through everything. Save. No, 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 no. We're good. We're good. Carlson, Stamkos, Van Ryan, Spiller, Pressburg, Nylander, Kubelik, Lowry, Anderson. Ove Man, these lines are fucked up, dude. These are not the lines that I wanted. These are not the lines that I wanted, but what are you going to do? Stamkos, Van Ryan, Pressburg, Ovechkin. Sorry, guys. I know this is boring, but I need to, I need to uh, dot my I's and cross my T's here. I got to make sure. Extra attackers. Four on four. I'm just going through everything again. I don't care. Get angry all you want. Bednar. All right. Oh, well, here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Here it is. Who gets the C? No, no one gets the C. Laffy Taffy's still wearing the C. I'm not even going to look at that. I'm not even going to... We're not even going to touch that subject, all right? So here it is. Your Seattle Stallions have fought back through through great adversity in their attempt to defend their Stanley Cup. Round one, they were up 3-0. They fought off a reverse sweep in Game 7. Round two, another Game 7 overtime victory by Alexei Lafreniere. Round three was easy. We got through them in a sweep. The Stanley Cup Finals, we were down 2-0 before winning three straight. We've constantly been able to get back in series. But now, perhaps the biggest challenge of all, we've lost our team's captain. And we have two chances to win a Stanley Cup. All we can afford is one loss. We have to take one of these wins. So, it comes down to the rest of the team. Can we pull off this year's Tampa Bay Lightning without Steven Stamkos? We have Stammer on the team, so maybe this is his chance to get a Stanley Cup that wasn't tainted. Come on, boys! Simulate. Game number six. Come on, come on, come on. I just want a good start. Times eight simulation in Buffalo. I don't care if I gotta win it on the road again. I don't care. Three is good to me. Oh, who the fuck, Milistein scores on... Ah, oh, it's gonna be one of those. <laughs> Damn it. Malestine and Jeff Skinner is going to open up the goal scoring. We're out shooting them as well. This could have been a good game for us, man. 12 shots to 8 and score is 2 to nothing. We're not going to get that 1-1 one, one tie. Oh, no. Alexei Lafreniere. Everyone was saying, oh, Alexei, you should trade him. He's garbage. He doesn't do anything. You're about to see what happens to our team when we don't have that 91 overall guy in the simulation, both for offense and defense. Second period under... <sighs> Jesus. Not good. Not good. Grossman. Carlo, though, gets us back within one. Power play again for Buffalo. I still... I, I, oh, wait a minute. Alexander Ovechkin. Halfway through the game. We're only down by one. Come on, boys. Don't let this game get away from you. We can't just say, hey, we got one more chance in game seven. That could be so embarrassing. Get the Stanley Cup right here, right now. <sighs> Third period, ladies and gentlemen. We are only down by one. OV, just one more period. All right, just need one more stellar period from you and you can go off into the sunset as a hero. Back-to-back -back Stanley Cup champion. All right, come on, boys. Here we go. Third period, underway. Power play, early for Seattle. Ah, Olofsson scores. He's probably not on the penalty kill. He scored right after it. Power play for Buffalo. They're up by two. 12 minutes left. Fuck! We're out. We took tons of shots in this game as well. Seven minutes left. Six minutes. Five minutes. Oh, no. Not like this. Not like this. Ah, oh, injuries. <laughs> Not like this, man. We fought so hard to get to this point. Just to have an injury to our best player. All right, hang on, hang on. Is there any changes that I can make? Carlo Pressburg. Uh, Pressburg, Kubelik, Lowry. Just the whole team. The whole team. No, the whole fucking team. There's nothing I can do. All right, we lost that game in convincing fashion. I got to make some line changes. Yeah, don't be afraid to make line changes. You got to do it. You got to do it. All right. There's only one thing that can help us here, ladies and gentlemen. All right. I need some advice on how I should arrange these lines. What do I do? Coach's Corner brought to you by the Stanley Cup Finals. Listen to me here, Seattle. I've seen this before. You should have already won the Stanley Cup, but you've lost your team's best player. It's time for you to stack up on the players you believed in the entire time. Don't feel like you're making a mistake, coach, if you put the wrong player on the wrong line. Go out there, have confidence, and win Game 7 and that Stanley Cup. All right, thumbs up. I got you. I got you, my man. All right. 
So I'm not taking the blame. This is the way Don just described this to me. This is a free sim to next game. This is a free game seven. Uh, holy shit. Alexei Lafreniere fights through the injury and shows up for game seven. What? I gotta get the lines the exact same way they were. Fuck! What were the lines? Oh, Jesus. All right, all right, all right. So, Stammer, Van Ryan, second line. Carlson. All right, all right, all right. Uh, uh, Lowry taking you out. Lowry for Laffy Taffy. The captain. The captain. Lafreniere. He's injured. Yeah, he's got the lingering injury, but he's going to play through it. Oh, this is amazing. What a story. What scenes. All right, Lafreniere, Presti, Spiller. Stammer, Van Ryan, Carlson. Nylander, Anderson, Kubelik. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go switch these two guys so you get the one-timers on each side. Wagner, Wesley, Ovi. Ovi, get your ass on that side so you can snipe it if you need to. All right? Defensively. Jake Bean, Volchenko, Vorobayev, Korolev, Gerard Schmidt. Yep, 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 yep. Special teams. Uh, okay. What did I have on the special? Kubelik was off? Or was it Neland? Nylander was off. But no, 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 no. Van Ryan, Gerard, Volchenkov was off. So I'm taking Volchenkov off. Lafreniere with Anderson, Bean, and Kubelik, right? That was the first line power play. And then Nylander down here on the point. No, no, no. Nylander was in the middle. Pressburg was on the point. Van Ryan was on the left, right? Like that? Is that the power play? Pretty sure that was the power play, correct? Yes, sir. All right, so that is the power play. Sorry, boys. I'm just I'm, I'm taking my time here. We have to do this right. Uh, Stamkos and on the point. Kubelik down here instead of Volchenkov. Volchenkov, Lafreniere. Lafreniere, Bean, Stamkos. Uh... Anderson, that was it. Anderson, yeah. So Lafreniere and Anderson. Stamkos on the point with Jake Bean. Gerard, Kubelik, Pressburg, and Nylander. Yep. Uh, penalty kill, Pressburg, Van Ryan, Vorobaya, Volchenkov, Anderson, Carlo. Yep, I'm just making sure Lafreniere is not being put on the penalty kill. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, extra attackers, uh, Pressburg and Anderson. It's going to be Pressburg and Lafreniere. Can't believe i got to do all these line changes again, but whatever, man. This is pretty intense. Uh, so it's part of it. Four on four lines. You damn right I gotta do this. Uh, alright, so Pressburg and Nylander. Stammer and Van Ryan will go to the third. Anderson and Lafreniere. Anderson, Lafreniere. Lafreniere, Anderson, Bean, Volchenkov. Gerard, Carlo. Vorobayev, Schmidt, Kubelik, Anderson. Now it was Stammer and Van Ryan now, but down here. Van Ryan. Three on three lines. Pressburg, Nylander, Stamkos, Ovechkin. Let me take Ovi off and just put uh, uh, Lafreniere back in. All right. Lafreniere with Anderson, Stammer. There it is. All right. And extra attackers, Lafreniere, Pressburg. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Let me just throw them in on the... Uh, let me just throw them in on the, uh, what's it called? The the shootout line as well, just in case, man. I I, I don't know. Lafreniere. All right. Bang. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. So, game seven for the third time in this playoffs. Round one, round two, and now the Stanley Cup Finals. Lowry is off. We're going back with the guys that uh, that got us our, uh, our run here. Alexei Lafreniere, our captain, is back, and he's playing with an injured leg. Oh, my God. So, um, hang on a second. Hang on a second. Let me just take a look at the captains and jerseys. I'm pretty sure Alexei Lafreniere is still the captain, but I just want to make sure. Yeah, he is the captain. All right. Pressburg's the A. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Game seven. A lot of a lot of people say we should have had that uh, Stanley Cup uh, wrapped up in game six. Lafreniere had to go out with an injury, and he's got a lingering injury right here. So he might not be playing as well as he's capable of. But the man, he's not a boy anymore. He's a man. He's stepping up to the plate. He wants to get his third Stanley Cup, man. Three and four years. Oh, he would already be a Hall of Famer with that kind of 
resume. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, this is it. The dynasty of Lafreniere or finally the breakthrough of the Eichel Tower. This is the story of the year eight Stanley Cup playoffs. Who is going to come out victorious? Game seven underway. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Times eight simulation. Who is going to start off this game on the right foot? Pressburg is going to score for your Seattle Stallions. Alexander Ovechkin. That's two. All right. Don't get ahead of yourself. It's only two. Ten minutes left in the first period. Ovi, if that's his last goal ever, it's a big one. Stanley Cup Finals game seven. An insurance marker in the first fucking period. Shots. We're out shooting them. We didn't take any penalties. We didn't allow a goal. We scored two. Pressburg and Ovechkin. That's that's the way I like to see it. All right, boys. All right, boys. Now I just need a salt. Ovi clapped it from half fucking uh, half court, uh, halfway or uh, <laughs> half ice. Oh my god, what a beast! Blasting it from there. Nice job, Ovi. All right, it's like the Iserman goal in overtime, just further out. Ovi does everything on his own terms. Here we go. Second period underway. Can the Seattle Stallions hold on to this? Oh my God, Steven Stamkos. The veterans are coming through in game seven. Stammer, Ovi, Pressburg. Yes. Halfway through the game, we're only up by three. Relax. We know the Buffalo Sabres with the Eichel Tower can score at will. We have to be careful. Five minutes left. Jan Bednar. The check. The check. Check it off, baby. Get to the end. Woo! All right. All right. Voodoo threw us everything this year. Curveballs. Fastballs. Screwballs. Knuckleballs. It doesn't matter. Injuries. Uh, reverse sweeps. But we are now on the brink. 20 minutes away of going three and four years. This is it. This is it. I'm in front of a thousand people again. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. I want this Stanley Cup. I want it for Laffy Taffy. Third period underway. Come on, a good start. Power play for the Buffaloes. Jeff Skinner gets the Sabres back within two. You hate to see it, but we can trust our Seattle Stallions. Come on, boys. I believe in you. I believe in you. Ten minutes left. They can hold on. They can get an insurance marker. We didn't come this far to be sent back now. Three minutes left. Two minutes left. And ladies and gentlemen, we need to jump in. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen. The final stretch. 2.46 left here in the third period. Your Seattle Stallions have a two-goal advantage. Game is far from done, though. If they can hold on, they can get their third Stanley Cup in four years and finally get it on home ice, baby. Oh, my goodness. Grossman over to McKay. McKay back to Jeff Skinner. Jeff Skinner turning, looking for an open shot. Back to Grossman, finds McCabe. The Buffalo Sabres, they've got to find a way to get that puck through. And they do, almost getting a goal. Middle stat, back to the point. They still have the puck. What are we doing? Abramov, Carlo, clear the fucking puck. Fourth line was out there. I don't like to see that. A full on, full on line change as he flips it over the glass in the neutral zone. So at least it's not going to be a delay game penalty. But holy shit, they don't know how to program that. There it is again, ladies and gentlemen. And for the first time, it makes its appearance in Thundershock. It's here in the stables in Thundershock. We're Seabiscuit, baby. I want that cup. I want that cup. Three in four years, 60 win seasons. Let's go. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, though. First line, Trenton Spiller, Pressburg, and Lafreniere. Pressburg loses the faceoff. Up to Sam Reinhardt. Two-minute warning, baby. Over to Olofsson. Olofsson back to the point to risk the line in. Back behind the net. Jack Eichel needs to get something going. Bednar with the save. Nice job. Here comes the injured man. Alexei Lafreniere. Oh, he looks weak. Spiller draws the penalty. Trenton Spiller. Trenton Spiller. Yes. And that's going to be two minutes for tripping. Trenton Spiller jumping on that loose puck. He wasn't going to lose that puck battle, ladies and gentlemen. And Sam Reinhardt just desperate. Just trying to make something happen. Tired, frustrated, throws a stick out there and takes a two-minute minor. All right. I mean, we could just score or we could just hold on to it for two minutes. Keep the extra attacker. <laughs> Bean Lafreniere! Alexei Lafreniere buries it. And the injured captain, his 10th goal of the playoffs, caps off the perfect season. Oh, he's arrived. He's a legitimate Hall of Famer now. There's no turning back. And he's only 25 years of age. All right, 99 points during the regular season. Injured, held, uh, or um, led his team to come back after a comeback. And then buries it right off the faceoff on the power play to give his team a three-goal advantage. Captain Clutch, the hero, and now he'll be able to hoist it on front of his fans here in, in the Thundershock, ladies and gentlemen. 
Oh my god, this is go, go again, Laffy Taffy! Spiller, up to Pressburg, tries to find Spiller again, goes nowhere. Here come the Sabres. Eichel, he, they, they're desperate now. Back! Wait a minute. The Eichel Tower finds Olufsen back door. And the lead has been chipped away, back to two. His 13th goal of the, sea, of the off season. Oh my god, alright. Let's relax here. What the hell happened, Bull Chunky? You're not playing like the wolf right there. Take your prey and eat him. Don't let him escape. I can't take this. I cannot take this. My heart is going to explode, man. How big is that Lafreniere goal now, ladies and gentlemen? Okay, we got to change up the line. Second line. Second line. Van Ryan, Stamkos, and uh, and uh, and uh, Carlson. Let's go, boys. This has been the go-to line the entire playoff run. Back when we needed help during the Oilers series. Back when we needed to come back against the LA Kings. This line really got it done for us. The veteran leadership. Stammer also has a goal in this game along with Ovi. Jesus, what are we doing? Jack Eichel just misses the net. That could have been back within one. You idiots, get the puck down the ice. We can't falter here. Here we go. And that is, I don't know who, the Van Ryan. Con Smythe, Carlson shot, big save. By number 75 overall. Uh, Stamkos, don't be taking a penalty. Now stay Stammer, Stam. Oh, wrist the line and just gets that loose puck. That could have been good. Pulling the goalie, empty net. For the Buffalo Sabres. Oh man, what a move. Wrist the line and Abramoff doesn't take the shot. Instead, waiting for the extra attacker to, to join the rush. Carlson, Ludwig. Oh, Joe, Jesus. Finds uh, Nate Schmidt rigging on the goal line right in the net. That was. What are we doing? Just off the glass and out. The glass is your friend, you idiots. Abramoff takes that wrist shot, goes nowhere. Ludwig Carlson. Oh my god, what are we doing? Olofsson, we just can't get the puck out right now. These bloody fools keep on losing it. Middle stat, back to the point. Risto just fucking claps it. Almost killed somebody in the upper deck with a shot like that. Olofsson, back to Grossman. I don't know who that is. Eichel tries to find Ludwig. Ludwig Carlson. Empty netter. And your Seattle Stallions are going to win the Stanley Cup in year eight. See, Biscuit, we did it. You're going to raise this offseason, buddy. We can afford it. Yeah, let's go Seattle, Ludwig Carlson, where is he, where is he, the great eight, let's go, let's go, his last shift in the NHL, ladies and gentlemen, Ludwig Carlson with the floaty backhand breakaway goal, oh, shoulder coaster with $30 donation, I'm drinking again tonight, boys, hell yes, multiple, uh, multiple hangovers this week, but I deserve it, all right, all this celebration, go Stallions, appreciate it, boys, ha <laughs> ha! Ovi, there he is. Ovi's out there with Wesley and Wagner, ladies and gentlemen. Giving our fourth line some love here. Let's see the great eight. One more touch of the puck. One more touch of the puck. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I thought this live stream was over. There was no way we were coming back. But our Seattle Stallions, our boys, just continue to fight through adversity. Last year it was D-Generation X. This year it was Don Cherry in Game 7. The man knows what he's talking about, man. The man knows what he's talking about. He's got the sweet touch when it comes to clutch. And the Wolf Volchenkov, he's eating a little early. Relax there, Wolf. Relax, buddy. Volchenkov with the hook. Come on, Zebras. Why are you calling that? Give me a break. Volchenkov pissed. What the hell, man? I want to be out there on the ice when the celebration happens. Don't worry about it, Wolfie. Don't worry about it, my man. The good times are coming. Pressburg, Van Ryan as well. What a playoff run for Van Ryan. Shot blocking still by Van Ryan. And there it is. Officially, your Seattle Stallions are a dynasty. Three Stanley Cups in four years. Back to back. Uh, 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 six President's Trophies in a row. 63 wins on the regular season. The greatest team of all time. The greatest goal scorer of all time. Alexander Ovechkin. And the true emergence of Alexei Lafreniere. Injured in the cup final. Shows up. Scores a huge goal. It ended up being the insurance marker. Led his team from a reverse sweep comeback against the Edmonton Oilers. A 3-1 deficit against the LA Kings. And a 2-0 deficit in the Stanley Cup finals. Against, the Jack, against Jack Eichel's Buffalo Sabres. Oh, poor Jack Eichel, man. The guy cannot catch a break. And he continues to get older with no success. I feel so sorry for the Eichel Tower. He'll be 31 at the beginning of next season with no Stanley Cup. While Alexander Ovechkin is 43, and he's just won two Stanley Cups in his last two years. You still got time. You just got to join a good team, Eichel. Get out of that dumpster fire of a franchise that is known as the Buffalo Sabres. Noxy boy, Murph dog, Wilkie's 96. Appreciate it, boys. Oh, I'm drinking a lot tonight. I'm going to even get some... Oh. Stammer! 
Steven Stamkos Con Smythe. I told you, what a free agent acquisition. The third line center position is exactly what this team needs to bring it all together. He brought Van Ryan and Ludwig Carlson, and he makes up for the seasons where he was injured on uh, playoff runs with the Tampa Bay Lightning. He finally gets a legit one and gets the Con Smythe. Van Ryan robbed? Uh, maybe, but Stammer was playing the center position, right? You got to remember that. He probably had a lot of assists. We'll take a look at the goal totals afterwards. But look at this beauty of a squad. Look at that. This is a dynasty. Three and four years on all on live streams. And we finally get to wear our greens here on home, on home ice on front of our fans. Lift it up, Laffy Taffy. You have your haters, but you're a legitimate Hall of Famer now, my man. That's called three-time Stanley Cup champion right there. He won it with his whites. He won it with his D-Generation X's and now the home greens. Laffy Taffy has got it done. Uh, with that. Who's that? That's got to be Vorobayev. I don't even recognize the hell out of that guy. Oh, that's Ludwig Carlson, the new power forward for the third line. A drafted player, Ludwig Carlson alongside of Elliot Van Ryan. Very good, very good player. Who is this? Number 88, William Nylander. He's now a three-time Stanley Cup champion. Thank you, Toronto. Thank you, Toronto. <laughs> a great free agent acquisition was William Nylander. Might have played his last season with Seattle or maybe his second last season. We've got to figure out what we want to do with these guys. But uh, legit. And he's getting paid less than like seven mil. This is the kind of team that I needed to put together. What a beautiful squad. And, oh, yeah, Jan Bednar with his D-Generation X uh, 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 pads. This guy, two, two uh, seasons in the NHL, and he's got two Stanley Cups. What an ass. And he just got drafted in the real NHL. Jan Bednar, someone post or link this to him. What a squad. What a squad, ladies and gentlemen. Three and four. Your year eight Stanley Cup champions, Seattle Stallions. Hey guys, Johnny here and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like, hit that subscribe button, and make sure notifications are on so you don't miss out on any new content. We also live stream on Twitch where I take days off my life for your entertainment. Sonny Gray, get out of it. You stupid pieces of shit. I should have gone with Jose for Nandez. Oh my God, pitching change. Fernandez, get your ass in there. Oh, I swear to God, baseball God just decided to shit all over me. Grand slam, oh yeah. Make me miss the playoffs with a first ranked team. Year two, 30 games above 500, no divisional win, trip to the wild card. First inning.